sit back, enjoy this right now as we begin the match. My beautiful friends, we're here, we're live, brand new. Polk vs. Negranu, heads up for souls. GTO is the way of life. You guys know what it is. We're here at GTO headquarters, Las Vegas, Nevada. Joined by the man, the myth, the future poker legend himself, Mr. Landon Tice, a.k.a. debatably the best 21-year-old poker player in North America, the entire world. Landon, what's up, buddy? We got How you back doing? and doing commentary here. We got Mr. Doug Polk versus Daniel Negranu squaring off in a heads up showdown to the death. Right now, we're on day 12 of the match. Doug Polk currently in the lead, $264,000. The name of the game is Nolem and Hold'em. Texas, Texas, Texas Hold'em. The Texas, Cadillac Texas poker. Texas edition. The Texas edition of the game here. They're playing 200, 400 high stakes on WorldSeriesOfPoker.com. It's an online poker site here in Nevada. GTO headquarters home. And also, you can play in New Jersey as well. And they're playing at, uh, at least $12,500 $12 12 hands. And the loser has the option to quit at that point in time. Otherwise, they'll play to 25,000 hands. So in one corner, we got Micro Stakes, a.k.a. Doug Polk. Doug Polk, the supreme leader. Douglas K. Polk, one of my longtime friends. I've known this kid since 2008. And uh, now he has built himself up to be one of the best poker players of all time at the Heads Up format. One of the most popular YouTube content creators. One of the most popular poker players. One of the most polarizing poker players. Facing off against his nemesis, Mr. Coke Can Dan, Mr. Real Kid Poker, the legend of the game himself. Debatably one of the best poker players of all time in the tournament format. Debatably the most popular poker player of all time. And uh, that's what we're sitting at, boys. We've been here doing commentary for a bunch of the last sessions on my YouTube channel. And right now, we're picking up the action. We're going to be going over the hands. We can't see the whole cards, but that doesn't matter because it's still a good time. We got great effects. We got sponsors on this show, too. And you guys know... That, uh, listen, we got a new sponsor for you today, guys. And I'm just saying, like, I'm excited for this one, man. But, yeah, let's get into the action here, guys. We pick it up. We got Dean Eggs. He's got about a $6,000 lead on the left. We haven't missed too much of the action so far. And, uh, and yeah, let's get to it. Everybody in the chat, thank you for tuning in live, my friends. It's very nice to see you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate everyone who's been commenting on the on the videos, who's been showing his love on Twitter, who's been showing his love on, uh, not cocaine. It's No, his name's Co... Not cocaine. It's not cocaine... <laughs> Dan, no, 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 no. Coke can, not cocaine. Calm down, guys. But yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody tuning in. Hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Landon's family was in town. I got to meet his beautiful mother. You guys remember she was on the last stream. Got to meet his family. And, uh, you know, they're a lot of fun. Shout out to Landon's family. My family's in town, too. I posted a photo on my Instagram if you guys want to check that out. But, Landon, how was your Thanksgiving, buddy? It was good. You had fun? A lot of food, a lot of people. A lot of people. Played werewolves. Yeah, werewolves like Among Us, you said, but like a live. live yeah. Game. Yeah, I tilted pretty hard after uh, after losing as werewolf, and it was very very painful. But it was fun, you know. Families in town, spent a lot of time with them. You met them. Yeah, I mean, we played some basketball outside. Joey, uh, Joey's quite great at basketball. Landon, Landon got to see me play some basketball, guys, and I'll I'll just tell you right now that uh, he got to see that that you know the fire and fury. He got to see that my the my, fire and fury that was Joey. Yeah, it was fun, man. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, I, I'm glad I got to meet your family. I think they're super nice. They're super cool. Uh, very friendly, kind of, kind of crazy like you a little bit too, which is nice. And uh, yeah. and yeah, man, I'm excited to watch this match here, guys. Like I said, we're on day 12 right now. A lot of action. I've been playing. I've been. I don't want to tell anybody this. I've been studying and playing some Huds Up Nolan and Hold'em, and I'm getting ready for my match against Landon over here. <laughs> after this match is over, I'm gonna play Landon in a little Heads Up showdown here. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, man, we got our tank top on. You guys know we got to bring back old ways. GTO is a way of life tank top here. Looking strong, Joey. Thank you. Looking strong. <laughs> Thank you very much. So pick up the action here, guys. Nothing going on here so far. A couple small pots back and forth. But yeah, what'd you guys do for your Thanksgiving? Would you guys hang out with family? Did you have Zooms? Did you go somewhere else? Did you, where'd you guys go to, man? What'd you guys do? What'd you guys get up to for the Thanksgiving here? So right-hand side, single race pot. Daniel, 
First Doug, Doug making that one-third pot continuation bet. Very normal size we've seen often in these matches. Left-hand side, pot size bet on the river from Doug Polk. On the ace, representing the ace as well, too. Putting Daniel in a very tough spot with his unpaired hands. If Daniel has a nine, probably not folding. If he's got a three, he's not going to fold. And Doug gets that max value for the ace. Very nice play, very nice sizing there from Mr. Doug Polk. Right-hand side, the one-third pot was check called by Daniel. Turns a jack. Any jack or 10 are, are like in their hand right now. Daniel certainly capable of having a bunch of different hands here. Backdoor draws, uh, gut shots as well too. A couple jacks, maybe some 10s. He bets 2,500, two-thirds on the river. Once Doug checks back, takes it down. Mm -hmm. Left-hand side, we've seen Daniel betting that thir three-quarters pot C bet is normal size. He's going with the, uh, the min bet and the three-quarter pot bet. And then often we've seen him check back these turns and go or go with that three-quarter pot bet again as a continuation bet on the turn. Yeah, most of the time on boards like this with double draws, you're going to want to over better check just because if you have value, you're trying to get mains max value from draws. And if you have draws yourself, you're trying to get some fold equity from hands that are better than yours. And, you know, so just forcing their ace highs and hands like that to be indifferent to what's calling and folding as well as getting some pairs that are relatively weak, like a deuce or a four, to consider finding some mixed frequencies of calls and folds on the turn. Interesting, okay. Yeah. So Daniel does go for the three-quarter pot bet on here on the river. Once the jack pairs, I mean, he's representing a flush. He could be representing a nine. A flush or a nine or a four. Wow. Whoa. Get some value there. Wow, that's a great bet, huh? Yeah. Makes sense, right? So he turns the third pair top kicker into a value bet on the river. Of course, sometimes Doug is going to have a nine and he's going to own himself a little bit. Sometimes he may have the trips as well too. Obviously not like it. I and mean, that's a pretty pretty nice value bet. And obviously yeah, Daniel definitely. needs to be bluffing there a, a decent amount of time to be able to be value betting ace four. Is that correct? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Doug either called with a worse four, like a four at the worst kicker, or some ace high hands that have a club in them that block Daniel's strongest hands like flushes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely a pretty thin value bet that got called by worse in that spot for Daniel for sure. Yeah, very nice value bet there by Mr. Daniel McGrown on the left-hand side. We got people in the chat. Andy B, what's up, buddy? Nice to see you. Nice to see you very much. Sophia Pappas, I'm so happy you have found your streams. Your commentary is actually entertaining and thoughtful. Yeah, guys, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the commentary. It's uh, my second week back doing content and kind of getting back into the groove of things. Been uh, been working on my game a lot, and uh, yeah, just kind of studying a lot of content, a lot of production. You guys seen the effects. Been trying to hang out with my friends and family out here in town as well too, and trying to build a business, trying to play poker, trying to work out, trying to eat healthy, all this kind of. Trying stuff. to get it all done, you know. It's tough. I'm trying to get it all done. It's tough. It is tough, man. But you know what? That's what your friends are for. They help you out. So right hand side three bet pot here. Pay attention, guys. Dane and Grano. Three bets pre flop. Mm -hmm. We've seen him doing that Quite often. standard from him, yeah, in yeah. spots like this. Just go for three quarters pot size on the flop and try to win. And then um, figure out what he's going to do on turns. But he is a really big fan of that 75% pot size on like boards that are like 10 and lower. Which makes sense because he does have an overpair advantage and mm -hmm. like jacks, queens, kings, aces. But and has some available draws and like some Broadway cards with overs and a backdoor like queen jack or a queen 10 suited with the back door to try to maximize fold equity versus a size oh here we go land in four, four bet, bet pot. I know. We, we, our, get the energy first, our, get the energy the, yeah. ener the, the four bet energy is coming nope oh, okay take it down nice hand nice hand nice hand as you guys can see <laughs> a bottom left hand side gorilla gaming legendary poker tables on there that's going to be one of our first ads we're going to get to get to that a little bit later we also have obviously our standard sponsors you guys know walmart in the mix here as well Doritos, Doritos. There, there. We were eating Doritos all weekend. Shout out to Doritos, man. Yeah. Sponsored by. <laughs> okay, not really. Dr. Pepper. A great, a great, great, great Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Five donation from Hank for the epic Indra and Landon's mom's digits. Shout out to uh, Hank in the chat. Yeah, Landon's mom came on the last stream and the chat loved her. She's a, a very sweet lady. You know, she loves Landon very much. I was talking with her a little while uh, when I was hanging out with these guys after the show was over. And uh, yeah, I, I don't have enough nice things to say about the fam. It was nice seeing Landon, you know, me and Landon interact and it's like, uh, you know, we, we like interact one way and then Landon interacts with his family in a much different way. So yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, me and Landon, you know, it's just funny, like, funny kind of get, getting to see people around different family members and friends and stuff like that. So I, you can see very competitive family, you know, the, 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 the everyone in the family is kind of doing something cool, doing something nice, work hard, try to get better at what they do. So it makes sense that, uh, you know, comfortable. 
No. Okay, good. No, no, I'm good. But it makes sense why that. No, why you have I, was, that I was fixing it. I was trying to fix this mic. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying here. So pick up some pots here. Right hand side, that's standard continuation bet. Three quarters pot. Left hand side, see a river card. Both flushes miss, but the straight back door, no, the, the immediate straight does get there. Right hand side, Doug Polk does check call, turns an ace. I expect Daniel to continue at betting on the ace. Yeah, he's going to be quite narrow in bets of the ace is good for his range. But then again, there are some hands that he wants to have some protective check backs with, like some weakest ace x holdings like ace three, ace deuce, ace four. And then he'll have some bluffs as well, like jack ten, king jack, seven, eight, eight, nine. And hands like that for sure. What, what, what about a six in this turn? What do you do with a six? With a six, you, you mostly want to check, depending on the other, like depending on the side card. Like even though it's no limit, like side cards are so important. They're a lot more important in PLO, of course. But having like a hand with a blocker to the to a future nutted hand, like a straight, is pretty important when you want to go for like triple barrels. So in that situation, if you have a third pair and a king, so it's diamonds, it was ace, queen, five, six, two diamonds. If you have king, six, one diamond, king of diamonds, is that a hand that you might want to bet that six on the turn? I think that's most of the time going to be a check because mm -hmm. you do have some showdown versus worse six X. And then on rivers, you can turn your hand into a bluff, blocking some pretty strong two pairs. And you're also going to check back some flush draws yourself on the turn as well mm -hmm. in order to kind of keep yourself on capped in some ways and having flushes. Because like if you always bet with your flush draws on the turn, then you're never going to have a flush when turn goes check check and the right. river's a diamond yeah that seems real, that seems like the fun part is trying to balance all that and i mean and by fun you mean difficult and by fun i mean absolutely difficult yeah exactly play the proper way right i mean you sure can click buttons and you can make adjustments or you can make like approximations that get close and you might think you're you're implementing this this output strategy in real time but in reality like you're uh it's tough. tough. It's, it's just like tough. Doyle Brunson yesterday. He's talking about. Listen, I don't. My man Doyle. Shout out to my guy Doyle. But he he posted something on Twitter and he said, "If I knew, I would never recommend anyone play hold them out due to what we're seeing with this challenge." And I think that is absolutely ridiculous because most of poker is being played in the full ring format and the tournament format. Yeah. And when you go play one two two five live, when you play live tournaments, like those games, come on. Those games are nowhere close to anything like that. So just because two of the greatest poker players of all time are able to play at a very high level and the tools are available doesn't necessarily mean that the tools are available so no one has a chance. There's plenty of people that still do have a chance to play and compete and win. And you still have to implement the strategies that are available. But I can understand if he's saying like, yeah, it's easier to maybe get out of line online in private games or something like that, then maybe sure. But I think that the private game format is going to boom. I think that live low stakes games are always going to be great. I think live online is still going to be good. And then I also think tournaments are going to be awesome forever. So, I mean, I don't know. I totally disagree. Like you shouldn't come in. It's still a really fun game. It's still very competitive. It still helps you get better at all other parts of life when you can get better at poker. So yeah, I, I just don't necessarily agree with, with Doyle on that take that he had. Yeah. I mean, it was a pretty like nihilistic one in the sense of thinking that poker is dead and that it's like impossible to win or get to the high stakes. But at the end of the day, the people are going to put in a lot of work and they want to reach that sort of pinnacle of what poker has to offer. They're just going to put in the work and do that. And most people that would get into poker, at least professionally, might not even have an aspiration to be one of the best in the industry. More of just sort of like provide for like themselves and their families and kind of you have to be pretty insane to kind of want to be like one of the best in the world at anything, let alone a gamer. Like a lot of it's going to be like determine like natural talent and work ethic in the sense of trying to find out patterns from the solves and things of that nature where it's a lot harder to than before where games were softer but the skill gap was and was high and there was no solved approach to the game it was more like talking to friends that you respected as poker players mm -hmm. and they had their ideas and you have your own and then you formulated strategies off of that mm -hmm. but now with the sim having a clear-cut answer those that kind of get to the top are going to be the ones that put in enough work and like respect the sim enough to to kind of do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing a couple pots here, nothing really developing. I mean, it's an interesting topic on its own. I just think that uh, there's so much action, like there's so much interest in poker in America specifically, and we know that by how popular poker blogs are. There's clearly so many people interested in, and not necessarily being professionals, but seeing what the lifestyle is like, going to play some hands for themselves. It's a great way to play with their friends. I'm thinking about uh, getting more involved in kind of that space in terms of uh, having a platform that people can play poker with their friends, not necessarily for for a lot of money, but more of just like a, a like among us sort of style where it's not like this cutthroat, 
I got to take all your money experience, but it's more like, let's play for fun. Let's have a good time. And it's bonding with each other while we're at home and kind of doing that thing too. Yeah, definitely. So I think that's going to be more of a thing that we got, we got to pay attention to in the future here. Right. Like the majority of poker players and people that play recreationally want to have fun and they're not necessarily going to even be playing against the people that do end up using solvers all day because they're most of the time going to be exactly. playing higher stakes stuff anyways. Exactly. Like exactly. they're going to be playing the highest stakes they can, at least when they get to that point and have a bankroll. And then like 2-5 and like meetup games and stuff like that, they're always going to be fun. And there's always going to be people that want to play poker because of the the natural, the nature of the game, so mm -hmm. to speak. Like, it's a really fun game. Yeah, it's just a great game. Right. It is a fucking great game, honestly. <laughs> Right-hand side, guys, we are seeing check raise here from Mr. Daniel Grano. We do have a couple of new graphics today, guys, that we'll be displaying, especially we have a new one for Daniel. We kind of just came up with here. We're in the lab, you know, working on the visual effects and, and found this one. So it's... uh. Yeah, three three. Mr. Hunter says, "How sad has my life got due to COVID when I've been waiting for the stream all day?" But honestly, guys, love the stream and can't wait for the new visual of X three three. Mr. Hunter, thank you very much, buddy. I don't think it's sad at all. I think that coronavirus has greatly impacted many people's lives all around the world who have chosen to stay locked down, and normal habits have been broken. Normal friendships and seeing those people have been broken, and it makes a lot of sense to. Kind of be at home be wondering well what's what they're look forward to today or, or what's there to be excited about today and that's on a challenge that we all face is to set new habits set new goals set new activities for the day that kind of bring us that excitement and bring us that joy and something to look forward to and if this stream and these silly visual effects can help you feel better about your fucking day and kind of getting through this and i think that's awesome and i'm happy to have you here brother so welcome thank you very much man yeah it's also just enjoyable for us to kind of look at some high stakes action because like Love it. we haven't seen something like this for a while. Like Phil sort of Galfon sort of like led the way with like heads up challenges mm -hmm. and then sort of got the ball rolling in that regard. And it's been a lot of fun for good for poker as well and just fun for everyone to spectate and like kind of get a glimpse into like the high stakes action and million dollar swings in, in some cases. Yeah. I think it's, I mean, I, I just love the action. I've always loved the high-stakes games. I like when the people I know are battling. You, you, live, for, you live for the action? I, I love it. I, live, I do live for the yeah. action, man. I do live for the action. Right-hand side, we got an overbet there on that flop from Doug Polk. 8-9, or 9-10, rather, does complete. Flush draw misses. Daniel's going to have deuces, sevens, eights, flush draws, straight draws as well, too. Left-hand side, a three-bet pre-flop from Daniel Negreanu. King, king, deuce board. Going to favor young uh, Daniel Negreanu. So let's see if he goes to that real one-quarter pot size. Right hand side check back by Doug Polk after row betting the flop. Not sure what to make of that. Left hand side, Daniel also checks. So Doug could have had a hand like Jack 10, Jack 9, and then 8x, and hands like that that he wants to overbet flop oh, with. Wow. King and 7 versus Queen 7. Pips him there. So D Doug overbets King 7 on that board. With one, is that because he has that backdoor king, king of club? Or is that just because what's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the logic for doing an overbet there? So on a board like that, it was pretty evident that there were draws on both sides. There were straight draws in 9, 10, and 5, 6. So when there's straight draws on both sides, solves play pretty aggressively heads up because of the big blind in that spot when they call mm -hmm. have many combos that they can continue with. So in order to pressure those and maximize EV with your strongest hands, like your 7x in some cases, and then your 8x and then over pairs, you're going to want to kind of funnel more money into the pot. And then you, with your combo draws and things of that nature, you can get called by worse draws. And you can get ace highs to fold and instantly win the pot, which is nice too. I love this fucking game after talking to you, buddy. I'm going to tell you right it's now. It's a good game, man. No one gets me more fired up. The thing it's is, is when game. I talk with my buddy Dylan, shout out to Dr. GTO, when I talk to them about PLO, I also get equally fired up. So I think I just like hearing people talk poker strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. If you're like, I, when I want to talk to Ike Haxton, I love talking, you know, I love talking poker strategy. And I've always been against talking poker strategy on my content because I worked so hard to get good at poker. I was like, well, I don't know, you know, the concept of giving it away just kind of seemed, but now everyone's doing it normal. I'm like, I'm like, no, so right, I feel, I feel like a fucking idiot. For not when I was like at my peak for Potman Omaha and I was thinking about doing you could have made a training site, Joey. Of course. Well, we were initially like they said, Oh, do you want to do the PLO course? I was like, I'd rather not teach anybody anything about poker, but now yeah. like I probably showed up because I would have got a lot of people into the game, you know what I mean? Like it's uh so I kinda I do want to do a course at some point in time, maybe like for beginner Potman Omaha players or beginner poker players or beginner gamblers. Something that's more beginner catered. gamblers. Yeah, something that's more catered to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like you know, people that are just learning the etiquette and the basics and uh, aren't comfortable necessarily going to play quite yet, and, and they just want someone that that has knowledge that kind of walks them through that process. So 
You really seem to be that kind of guy up for the task. What? It seems like a task made for you. Amen. I like it. Nice hand by Daniel on the right. So Daniel, I mean, listen, guys, I want to, I want to see a close match. I know, I'm obviously, you know, Doug Polk. I'm, 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 that's my buddy. So of course, I'm rooting for Doug, a longtime friend of mine. Uh, Landon's just rooting for some great poker. I know you guys out there. You guys got a lot of Daniel fans. We got a lot of Doug fans. We got some people who want, who want just to see a good match. They want both players to lose. They want both players to win. I mean, it's uh, yeah, zero sum where close, every, everyone loses. I want to see a close match. They just break even and lose to Rake. WSOP wins. WSOP is definitely winning in this scenario, guys. They're getting a lot of free publicity for their brand. The WSOP in general, they're getting a lot of free publicity for their website. And yeah, they're they're certainly uh, that main event freeze out's happening on the thirteenth. Are we are we are we are one of us winning that or what? What do you think? Should I stream that? What do you think? If you streamed it, it'd be that'd be iconic. Okay, that would be iconic. Do you see guys think I should stream the upcoming World Series poker main event? The they're obviously they're day. obviously gonna say yes, Joey. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Type one in the chat if you want to see Joey play two card. Texas Hold'em, $10,000 freeze out. Final table live. If you get the virus, you will be disqualified. <laughs> but Somebody said they'd pay $1,000 for my Autoline Vegas module. Listen, I had a great night last night, guys. I'll just say that. We got in. We got in. We got in. We got in early. Right hand, left hand side, three bet pot. Right hand side, pot size bet from Doug Polk. Doug Polk bet the flop, his standard one third size. Now he pots the turn on the nine, putting a lot of pressure on. Many of Daniel Grano's hands, unless he has the queen jack. Right, left hand side, Doug does call the three bet. 9 10 forward. See if Daniel goes to that 6,200 size bet he's been doing. Goes 32. Interesting. Interesting. Mixing it up, kind of on that texture. We've seen him go with that big bet often. I wonder what that yeah, means. Yeah, it's a little bit right. smaller than normal on the 10 high low boards, but you would think to size up on this board when draws are available on both sides, like the jack, the queen jack, the 7 8, the jack 8s. King Jacks. Oh, wow. Like Backdoor trips. Right -hand Backdoor side. is the trips on Doug. That makes sense. He called pot size bet with that uh, gut shot with the nine. Makes sense. Third pair with the queen improvement. Yep. Left hand side, he checks on the ace. 14.6K in the pot. 2.5 SPR behind. Checks back. Backdoor flush gets there. All the straight draws miss. Let's see what Daniel. We've seen Daniel check that turn, protect his range quite well. Make that ace, 10 queens, ace bet here. Yeah. Exactly. He's done that quite well. Here we go. 10.9K. We've seen this happen. I mean, listen, I'm just saying, buddy. What do you got? What? What do you need me here for, Joey? <laughs> I'm just saying. We've seen Wow. It. I mean, watching a fuck of the hands. We, you see the patterns, right? Wow. Like he just, but you still got to figure out what his hand is, right? So we know he has ace, jack, ace, queen here. We know he's full of it. Maybe he's got a one club, king five, one club. You never know, something like that. Doug, he didn't bet the turn. Weakens his range a little bit as well. Yeah. If he's got most a 10 of, or a nine here. Most of his draws are going to want to um, put some money in on the turn to pressure Daniel's range as well as realize his own equity for a decent price. The only problem is sometimes you'll get like raised, which will... Oh, on this river? Or no, it's on turn. Like if it goes uh, Daniel like, check, okay, dog stops, saying, Daniel saying, yeah. raises, yeah. You know, we have not honestly seen that much at all this match. Uh, like, yeah. But I check like, jam turn. I don't. I, I honestly don't know if we've seen one. Maybe, I'm sure we have, but right-hand side, chop, chop it, it up. up. Yeah, yeah, nice value bet there by Doug, it's called. By the same, by the same strength hand. By the same strength hand. <laughs> Left-hand side, let's see what happens here, guys. 10.9K, is Daniel full of it or not? I think that he's got an ace, personally. And I think Doug's Ace Jack with the Jack of really Clubs. Call. Maybe a four. Aha! Uh -huh. Pocket oh, eights hey. versus seven high. <laughs> wow. I mean, that is spicy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I thought he was full of it. I thought he was full of it. I really, I did. <laughs> Doug comes in with the two blockers to straights. There comes Doug Polk in there, smashing up the Boom. place. Says, I don't believe you, sir. Takes down the pot. Negranu. Getting a little bit tricky, you know. He's Old man, a little, little speed, Old some speed. speed. I mean, listen, Doug Polk not laying down. The uh, yeah, man, he was a non-believer in that situation. As Dan and Ron, it was taking out my semi truck, with Mr. Doug Polk. That's not a semi truck. That is a hundred. That is a monster -truck. truck. Can they be the same thing? I mean, you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> nice hand, guys. Nice hand. Nice hand. Daniel seven six. I like it by him. Doug. Do Caught him speeding. Did he three bet seven six off? What is this guy's fucking problem? He's in the streets. Seven six offsuit. If you tell me that we can three bet seven six offsuit, you're telling me we can three bet anything. Low frequency. I mean, you can three bet okay. anything. Okay. Doesn't mean you should three bet anything. 
they give you the option. To I mean, click the for what it's worth, any, any hand. they they both have ranges for preflop, right? So I'm sure he's got his own ranges, and Doug has his own as well. And um, obviously, it would be in there at some frequency for Daniel if he's doing it. I don't think he fought so hard, or like Doug fought so hard for charts, and then Daniel is now also able to use charts, and then is deciding to deviate from them. Right, yeah, that, that, would, what, that would make too much chart, sense, right? I don't know what chart has the 7-6-0 oh, for the 3-bet, but listen, I'm not saying I can 3-bet it plenty of times in my life. Or I play you 3-bet the 7 6 five, four. Double suited, though. That's a PLO. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Nolan Hold'em, the great game, Pop and Omaha. But no, Nolan Hold'em, yeah. Dude, I, I, you should... If I, if we I, played some 1-2. I want you to have conversations with some of the regulars that used to play a lot with me, and they're going to tell you I was the craziest motherfucker when it came to 3-betting. There'd be some sessions, I would just 3-bet 28%. Didn't you twenty four tabling? Didn't you to not do that very much? Well, and then sometimes, sometimes. Listen, my buddy Doug Polk, he uh, was my first coach at poker, and he taught me to raise every button one time. So he said, just start raising every button. So what did I do at full rank? I I literally thought he meant raise every single button. He didn't necessarily mean every button. He meant more buttons. And <laughs> what was born out of that was a very aggressive post flop strategy because I had a lot of hands on my range and I need mean to win the pot. So yeah, it was. You don't uh, want to say no and give up that pot. No man, no, no, no. But it was so fun. Doug's like, you know, uh, maybe you gotta maybe you gotta tone it down. A bit. Yeah, he's like, maybe not every button. <laughs> you gotta tone it down a bit. It's so funny. Doug was doing the whole business thing, staking thing in like 2009, 2008. He saw the future. He really did. He was always in the kind of business side of things, man. I listened to the first podcast I ever did back yes two days ago. It was me and Doug. The Power Poker Podcast. Yeah, and on there he basically says cryptocurrency is the future. It's 2014. It's still really it's still a really good listen, actually. Yeah, I kinda wanna repost it, but it, Why not? It, yeah, it was it was a nice episode. We've got a couple pots here, right hand side, DNX three bet, left hand side, over bet on the river. Is he speeding again? Guys, do you think he's got two bluffs in him in a row? We saw the 7-6. I mean, here, 13.4. What's he bluffing with here, 13.4? Some hands that contain a 5 and a 6, like blocking the nuts. A spade? No, a spade. He doesn't want spades. He doesn't right? want spades. Doesn't want he, spades. Wants okay. to, he wants Doug to have spades, which conversely works as Doug wanting to have spades because Daniel doesn't bluff spades on the river. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Makes sense, In yeah. some spots, like... It's better to have spades when you bluff catch because they shouldn't be going off with some with spade flush draws in their hands. So it's more likely that they have nothing, like a bricked backdoor draw or things of that things like that. So Doug is in the tank once again. We saw the eights call down. Maybe he has a three. Uh, if he has a nine, maybe it's a quicker call. He does lay it down right hand side. We saw a three bet by Dean Eggs. Check calls the flop. Ace ten eight turns a queen. Pocket queens makes that set. Jack nine certainly a possibility for both players. I think Daniel. Would have bet that hand on the flop himself. So the jack on the river is interesting. This king's pretty good for Daniel because he just has more ace kings when he three bets. Do you think uh, what sizing is he going to go here with? Probably small. small. I would go small. 4K, 44. Right. Maybe even less. Maybe like 10% pot, like 1,600, 1,700. 64? Yeah, it's a bit, a little bit big. but. What's the difference between a big bet here and, and what we just Well, he gets to bet more of his range if he bets 10% pot than he does okay. if he bets third. Because his bluffs are a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. But in this case, he's representing the same thing for whatever bet size he chooses, unless he chooses a smaller one. Because for like a smaller bet size for 10%, he could value bet some strong two pairs and stuff like that to get I called by one saying. pair of hands. I see what you're saying. So when you're saying right there, if he bets one third, theoretically, you, you just have less two pairs as bluffs? Or yeah, a little bet? bit. Right. That well, not sense. really two pairs as bluffs, but like you just kind of are for trying value, to get value, value from okay, like the ace. Value. Right, yeah. Yeah. Is the logic behind that that? If you have a 10 jack there, you might want to bet that that quarter pot. Right, and then, then you want to balance that with some king x's as well. Mm -hmm. So they don't think it's just a weak kind of bet that they're going to raise over because they think you don't have a king when you take the really small size. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. But that one third, like sense. the one third is fine too. Like if you want to just like make your range pretty simple and have a king or not kind of thing. Because what, if... what are your bluffs there, right? On that board, I mean, I guess you're taking your four fives, your well, worst, your worst you hands bluffs, that have no pair. Your bluffs are going to want to be hands that kind of block Doug's king X in his range. Okay. Because like you don't want Doug to have a king. So you want to make it as hard as possible for him to do that. So like you want to have probably like two offsuit cards mm -hmm. to block some of the king and unblocking the king suit or mm -hmm. not any king suit because there's none on the board, but you want to block some hands that a king six suited, king five suited, stuff like that that Doug is gonna call with pre mm -hmm. that you block because you have those hands. 
Makes like, it's sense. better to turn hands that, like, King X sort of has than to turn, like, a one pair into a bluff mm -hmm. in that kind of spot. Depending on the combo, of course. Yeah, very interesting hand there, guys. It's a tough game, man. I love it. Cosmo Kramer in the chat. Joey, it's, it's back at it. Good to see you, brother. Much love, Cosmo. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that, brother. Trent D, Poppy, and Landon. What do you say? Number one duo in poker. Uh, well, we got a long way to go, but thank you very much. <laughs> My man Wade Harrell in the chat. What's up, buddy? Nice to see you, Wade. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Nice to see you. Appreciate everyone for uh, for being a part of the show today. They said they don't want to see the sound effects. I kind of like the sound effects, but I see what you guys are saying, man. Saturday night, guys. What are we doing out there today? Left-hand side, Danny Negrano making a bet. 4,400. Someone said I'm stealing Dan Negrano, Doug Polk's style with the tank tops. Now, I, listen, guys, you got to go back and check the tapes. I was wearing tank tops on content before Doug Polk was. Doug Polk took the tank top idea from Big Poppy here. So make sure you go fact check your things before you go around spouting misinformation such as that. That's detrimental to everybody. So, amen. Bobendale says, damn, we really got a sponsor. Joy was not lying. Listen, we've been talking about the sponsors, man. We we're got still, it done. We're still waiting. Yeah, we're still waiting to talk to. Uh, we're still waiting to talk to Nvidia. We're still waiting to talk to Microsoft. We're still waiting to talk to uh, Apple. Don't worry. We might get those guys. Get those guys as well. Wow. Yeah. Amen. Some high quality sponsor. <laughs> no. Alondra says, "Hey, Joey, welcome back. Wanted to say bonjour from Montreal, Canada. What's up, buddy? Thank you very much. Shout to Montreal, my friend. Right hand side, Doug Polk. Nice big bet." On the king, Daniel calls. Here we go, guys. Six on the river. Dark could stuff it. This might be it, guys. We might see one of our first big pots of the session. The Get truck the energy is ball. Get the energy the ball. energy ball is rising right now. Will Doug Polk have the energy in him in order to fire and make a big bet? He raises. He, he does. Is. He shan't. He shoves. He shall. <laughs> he shoves. Does Daniel have a weak ace? Is he going to call with that ace? The truck is getting backed up. Whoa, look at the energy ball. The energy is spiraling. It's building up on the screen. Doug Polk goes for first blood, takes down a pot. $55,000 goes Mr. Doug Polk's way. And just like that, he's chipping up a little bit, putting up a little lead on his match so far for Dan and Grinder. We have got not gotten a chance to use our brand new our brand new uh, a, a virtual effect today, unfortunately. But not we yet, have it in store will. right now, guys. We do have it in store, and I'm very excited for it. Wesley says, are you guys going to dance again? Uh, we are definitely going to dance again, my friend. We definitely have some dance moves in us. Puppy, puppy, puppy. <laughs> Can this get you this Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so we definitely got some moves, man. I was dancing a lot of time last night. It was a lot of fun. Daniel D'Agostino, what's up, Poppy? What's happening, brother? How's it going? Nice to see you, my friend. What's that was, going that was on? like a small demo of dancing right there. A small demo? Yeah, we just gave him a small demo. Yeah, I know. People love the dancing that we do, man. I agree. The celebrations. I mean, it's great. Little cat jam. People are loving the cat jam, too. They are. A little smoke on for a little bit here. We can, a little bit. We can get a cat jam. You want. Can't imagine. We'll get a cat jam for you, okay? Like a little baby cat jam. We'll get a baby cat jam for you, okay? Yeah. You guys it's not for me. It's for the people, Joey. It's not just for me. If okay. you guys are just tuning in, guys, we are watching the Doug Polk versus Daniel Grano Heads Up Showdown, years in the making. We are 5,000 hands in the match. Right-hand side, we just saw an overbet on that flop from Doug Polk, A7-8. Doesn't the solver say one-third on, on A7-8? I mean, there's draws on both sides. You can also polarize and go bigger. Okay. I mean, you can make a strategy with whatever, whatever you want, right? Like, right. let's say you only and use that's, pot that's or check. the skill is to build, yeah, build, build a better strategy, yeah. Or just build a strategy that's easily implementable. That makes sense, too. That makes sense, too. We see a, a big bet on the river, or sorry, the churn guys, pot size bet by Doug Polk. He gets called. River is a six, and we might see D Doug do some crazy shit here. Daniel going to be capable of having 9 10. I think he's going to be slow playing the nuts to that bet size. He's going to be slow playing most of his range, I do believe, here. Because he is going to want to have to uh, have strong hands to be able to face these big over bets that Doug's been putting on him. On the river, will we see Doug Polk make a shove here? Is he setting up for it here, Landon? It's possible. Oh, he does not. And Dane Negrano has the jack eight for the two pair. Yeah, he's snapping the river. Yeah, he is definitely gonna snap the river. Nice pot goes Dane Negrano's way. He's up to sixty-nine thousand four hundred dollars on the right-hand table, 
anybody's match here today as we're about even. We got my man Pure Palm says, hey, good afternoon, Joey. Thanks for the stream today, pal. Kind regards. Listen, guys, it's been a rough day, so I needed to stream, and I'm very happy to do it. Very happy Landon's here. Big dog's in the house. You're the big dog. You're I'm just the, here. You're just here? Yeah. You're, you're not the big dog. <laughs> my little brother's the big dog, technically. So. 22 and you're cool. 22 and you're cool. Is. Kent, said, Kent Hergo it says, howdy from Nebraska. What's up, Nebraska? What's up, Kent? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Hope you're enjoying yourself in Nebraska. I don't know. What do people do in Nebraska? That's him. Same thing. They go here, eat food, hang out with their friends. Relax. Relax. Enjoy themselves. Farm. Farm. Go to the bar. Why not? Maybe fuck it. I don't know. Maybe they got a, maybe they got an Earth Cafe. I don't know what they got there. <laughs> they got a cafe. Left-hand side three bet here from Mr. Doug Polk. King three, deuce board. They probably do have at least one cafe in Nebraska, Joey. Probably like a couple of couple like Why not? and stuff like that. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Adam Hill says, by far, best of the all streams showing this grudge match. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. There's a lot of great streams out there. I'm very happy that uh, we do have so many people interested in this. Right-hand side, Daniel, nice river raise with the ace eight. One pair attacks that small bet from Doug Polk. Left-hand side, Doug bets the flop, gets called by Daniel. Turn is an eight. Interesting turn card. Doug going to have some eights. Daniel, not necessarily just polarized to having a king here. He's going to have a three, a deuce, gut shots, backdoor draws as well. Let's see if he decides to turn some of those semi-bluffs or straight bluffs into bets on the turn. He does check back. Backdoor flush gets there on the river. The straight, the straights miss. Top pair is still good. Daniel very capable of having a king when he checks back the turn. These guys can show up with anything at any time. Yeah, definitely. I feel like Daniel's been more inclined to show up with those. Uh, Goes for a block bet for a third. Block bet here, 42. 4,200. Daniel probably not folding most of his pairs here, Landon. Probably not folding anything that's like an eight plus for sure. Mm -hmm. A seven you can get kind of, you can think about. And then like his bottom pair is probably just going to find folds. Twos and threes, maybe fold in there. He does lay it down. Larry Underwood, what up, Big Poppy? Joe Ingram, one, what's up, Larry? What's happening, brother? Felipe Fayed, we love you, bro. Joey, thank you, Felipe. Much love, buddy. Much love. Thank you very much, my friend. Nice to see you guys here. Andy B says, I-80s across Nebraska is brutally boring. Yeah, I mean, we're not driving down I-80 personally very much around here. Me and Landon, we're on our computers, but, you know what I mean? <laughs> we're driving down the Vegas Strip and we're on our computers. So that's about what we're doing around here. We're speeding. We're speeding uh, to get to the computer to play more poker and or do more content. So yeah. Nothing going on right here. Uh, Sven says, have you talked to Doug about post-match interview? Poppy, uh, I haven't really asked him. I'm sure I could ask him and, and we'd probably do something. Uh, Herniklov says, what's up, Poppy? Welcome back. Best wishes to you on your life. Much love. Landon, love the analysis. Where'd you learn all the math? Thank you. Landon, where did you learn all the poker, buddy? Um, I had a lot of friends that were better than me. And they gave me a lot of information. And I played a lot. Grinded in the streets. Every day. For every day for over 10 hours for like a year and a half. And turns out if you do something like that for a long enough time, you'll, exactly. you do anything. you'll get pretty good. You, you do Hopefully. Any, you do anything for one year straight, brother, you're going to get better at it. The energy ball builds up. Three bet pot on the right hand side. The energy ball. The Motley Investor says, What do you call a poker player without a girlfriend? Homeless gets staked. Jeez. Ay, ay, ay. Come on. No cryptocurrency shills going on here, guys, right now. For fuck's sakes, man. Get shit the fuck out of here. If you want to do it, buy a sponsorship, okay? But I don't think I can sponsor Hex anyway because I, people on, the, on Twitter said it was a scam. I didn't look into it. I don't know if it's a scam or not. So no one alleged it's a scam, but people on Twitter seem to be adding it's a scam. My big question was, how is there a cryptocurrency? Like, there's like a bank. It's like a bank where you can allegedly give them money and then you get interest on it. It sounds like you're doing a sponsorship right now. <laughs> no, but people are saying this is like a scam. There's some that are legit. Some are a scam. Can you imagine how many people are getting fucked over in crypto? Do I got to get out there and do some investigations? Because... I mean, you want to like spend how many more, how many years of your life do yeah, you want to? Yeah, yeah, good. I don't want to. I don't, you're right. Good point. Let's end that right away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. End that right away. But yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't know much about it. So, so that's what we got, man. Poker needs you, Joe. Thanks you can't. Down. You can't leave us again. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking around poker for a while, man. I see a lot of opportunity here. I, I see. I really want to put on some great events for the fans. I want to put on some great gameplay for the events, the fans. I want to get in the streets and I want to win a big tournament because I think that'd be just amazing. It'd be fun to do. 
because I never really played many tournaments, even though I have won some tournaments. Shout out to VFW. Shout, Shout out to me, Shales. Thank you, me. Shout out to that Golden Nugget five person charity tournament I took down. There it is. Five with, person with my charity. Stepdad. My stepdad was one. It happened. That is what it is. You won? I'm grateful. Yeah. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Amen. God uh, bless. Jerry Arbor. Hey, Joey. Thanks from the stream. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. Thanks, Jerry. Moving on, huh? Much love. Peter Smith. Thanks for the stream. Poppy, tuning in from Australia. Sweat in the action. Thank you, Peter. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Keep it up, 1979. Shout out for you guys from Manila, Philippines. Shout out to my Filipino poppies and mommies. What's happening out there? What's going on? You're here. You're joined by me, Kid Landon, Landon Tice. AKA the next gen, AKA Young Prince, AKA Kid Landon, AKA the man who does not stop betting. <laughs> I know how to beat you. I'm just calling you with my value hands. <laughs> that easy, huh? I know how to beat you. Only have value. Wow. Right, right what, a, what a great strategy, huh? Right hand side. Listen, I'm not We saying, both really got it all figured I'm out, not, huh? I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I got to. I'm not saying anything. Okay, I'm not telling you any more information. We, we, just, about we, we just got to. Fi- I'm not giving. We just figured out poker itself, huh? <laughs> only call when you know that they're bluffing, and only fold when you know that they're value betting. Right hand side, guys. We got to overbet. We got a check raise from Doug Polk. We got to overbet. See now, he just folds a five. He calls with kings. See, and then he calls with the flush draws and ply dons. Right. That's Easy. a winner. Easy, huh? Easy. <laughs> you can play right now if you want. Excuse me. <laughs> you say something? It? You say what, what do you want to play? Heads up for rolls? Okay, I'll Heads up tell for you souls? What. Let's play Heads Up No Limit and then we'll play basketball. Let's do it. Okay. But the basketball, no, no, no stakes for basketball. No, the stakes are the same for basketball as no, they are for the poker game. Hell yeah. you got get, a height some, advantage on me. I'll get, I'll get someone to ghost. Wow. Yeah. You're breaking, you're breaking TOS of a basketball, basketball game already. Ba- you imagine, imagine that though, like for basketball, like you like challenge me to like a 1v1 and like you bring out like Shaq and then I bring out like This is my show. Shaq. This, like, this, this, I also <laughs> bring out Shaq. This is my show, the, the masked poker player. It's a great One show. One of my greatest poker idea for the shows ma- ever. It's where everyone comes out in a mask or everyone comes out as a recreational player, like like the biggest recreational fun players of all time come out. And in their earpiece, they have a professional coaching them from behind. And you have to figure out which pro is working, which which recreational recreational player. And the recreational players don't have to always listen to the advice. So they can kind of do their own thing, which maybe defeats the purpose. But it is what it does. Let's get to this hand on the left-hand side before I start flushing that idea out. It's a good idea. Uh, Daniel, big bet on the river, 67 into 9,000. 7, 8, 9, 9, 7. 4 river. Nothing changes on that. 4. He does take it down. Battling back and forth today. Looks like about an even match so far here. Almost an hour into today's session. We got my man Richie Lackey. Hello from Toronto. What's up, Richie? What's happening, man? Adam Hill says, you should do some streams of the Galphon Challenge. I will uh, I will be doing some more Galphon Challenge coverage coming up here in the future. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for He's that. Sitting out. Uh, Daniel Grano is taking our first break here. And, uh, and yeah, should we do our ad? I mean, I want you to add. We need to add now. A big ad. This, is, this microphone's giving you tr- pro- problems, kid. Yeah, it's tough. This microphone's giving you problems, kid. Ryan Vermutin, we are in a break here, guys. Dana Granos takes these little short breaks. Match will resume, pick up in one second. Maxwell, smartest shout out to Poppy and Landon. The stream is the best, sweating the best poker challenge in the world from New Zealand. Very nice to hear, Maxwell. Hope you're enjoying the stream. It sounds like you are. Drizzy says, Poppy, please shout out to me. Shout out to Drizzy. What's up, man? Ryan Vermouten, greetings from South Africa. It's 1.30 a.m. Willing to miss sleep again for the stream. Thank you very much. Happy to be here, man. Yeah. Happy to be here. Thanks, guys, everyone in the chat. Bastion says, when I go to Vegas, I want to hang with you. Okay, let's do it. Let's get after here. Daniel in the break. Make sure you guys get your water. Make sure you guys are staying hydrated. Get rid of that sugar from your diets. Take right, some water. I'll be right back. Take that. Uh, take that soda out of your life. Make sure your habits are in line. Your next sponsor is water. This guy down and donated again. A Fifty. He says Daniel has folded more hands than an Undertaker. <laughs> hex doesn't need a bank. You are the bank, bro. We just talked about this fucking hex. What is this guy's thing? What is he doing this for? Why is he get? Why does he keep donating all this money? All right. What's going on here, man? Do not do not trust anything like that. If someone from a donation, we don't know anything about these sites or these programs. Hmm. Matches back up here, guys. Let's get to it. Moonlight says Doug Polk is live tweeting the match today. Is he really? 
Oh yeah, he is. He said Daniel's bringing out some new sizings today. It's gonna get interesting. Shout out to my guy Moonlight Master. I fucking love that guy. Match is back up here, guys. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Cameron Mears. Shout out to Joey Pizza and Landon from London. Shout out to Cameron. Izzy Mats, much love from Luxembourg, folks. Thanks for the coverage. Thank you, Izzy Mats. Appreciate you guys very much. We just hit 130 some thousand subscribers on YouTube channel. Uh, kind of fucking nuts, right? I mean, can you imagine when I started my channel? You have 130,000 people. And I know it's been like a while and, and a lot of people, the subscribers are maybe dead and, and they, they don't, you know, that's how the YouTube works and the algorithm works and people have subscribed to channels for no reason these days. They don't really watch all the channels because they've subscribed to so many, but still a pretty cool thing to kind of see. And uh, people looks like they're enjoying the, 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 the videos here. The, the videos for this challenge have been getting, I think what, like between 50 and 70,000 views each. People in the comments seem to enjoy it. So that makes me very happy. And definitely I'm going to be looking forward to doing more like this in the future and maybe playing in some challenges myself Look against this fucking kid. I'm going to take this kid down. So right hand side, we see a three bet pot. Doug Polk, C bets the seven ten three board, goes with a half pot size. Turn is a three. Going to be, I think, a better card here for Doug Polk as Doug Polk has more of the over pairs. Going to have some threes as well, too. Maybe like an ace three of clubs. Daniel is going to be calling that flop with a bunch of gut shots. Uh, sometimes going to have bottom pair as well, too. I'm going to turn that into trips. But I think he's going to just have a lot of ace highs, a lot of gut shots, eight nines, nine jacks, five sixes. He does call. And we got a big pot brewing here, guys. $39,000 as Doug Polk is going to back up the truck here. If he's got an over pair, I expect him to shove. Daniel maybe shows up with some slow play threes. He's going to be in a tough spot with all of his hands that aren't a straight or... A three, if he does face the shove here, guys. The energy's building up. Doug Polk does go with the jam. Daniel does not snap call. Does not have that strong of a hand. He does fold pretty quickly. And Daniel Negreanu loses another pot to Doug Polk. Doug Polk up to six, 7,000 on that table. Backs up the truck just a little bit. The horn moves down the freeway. And Daniel... The horn moves down the freeway. The horn moves down the freeway. And Daniel picks it up, man. Picks it up. Very interesting hand that took place right there. Yeah, I think once Daniel calls that turn, Doug's able to put a lot of pressure with him on the river. He's going to be value betting his over pairs. He's going to be bluffing with his missed flush draws. Maybe sometimes if he's got an eight, he might turn that into a bluff too. But just like that, nice hand by Doug Polk. He is on fire. Mr. Remo says subscriber since like 2016, Joey. Fucking fire more. Happy to see you back with this challenge. Appreciate you, buddy. Happy to be back, man. Left-hand side, Doug. Nice little flush there. Landon went to get some water. Billy Rose, shout out to Billy. Who's got Tyson? Who are you guys watching that Tyson fight tonight? There's Jake Paul, the YouTuber versus Nate Robinson, the former basketball player, who's really? like a fucking specimen, but he's shorter. He's like five foot eight, but he's like just a, an athletic god. He is. Yeah, right-hand side block bet from Doug on this river. You're going to see him show up here with a bunch of bluffs. Oh, my God. I love this guy, Motley. <laughs> I mean, he's just fucking firing. I love this fucking guy. No, I don't know, man. Where is that up? <laughs> right-hand side, d going for the race, saying he's got trip sixes. He's capable of showing up here with bluffs. We've seen Doug lead with this size very often, wide range. How light is Daniel Negreanu possibly raising this river lead, we might find out. Doug Polk in a tough spot, unless he's got a jack or a six. If he has a five or a four, he's all in. I like it. He could have a bluff. Yeah. Him. Wow. Doug Polk. I did not see this coming. He jams all in. A quarter pot river bet. The energy, energy builds back The energy up. is rising. Daniel Negreanu lays down the pot, and Doug Polk puts his foot on the gas. Do we replay it before it goes away? And that was a very, very nice hand. And right now we're going to be showing one of our first replays of the day. Our replayer, as always, sponsored by Doritos. Doritos, a beautiful chip that is very unhealthy for you. I would not necessarily advise that you drink a or eat a lot of Doritos. Drink Doritos. Yeah, I would not advise that Don't you drink eat, it you, either. I would not advise you eat a lot of Doritos. Actually. Or drink it. And um, to be honest. I don't, I, you know what? We're going to take them off as a sponsor right now, okay? So we can't be advocating. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I've thought this, about it and it's gone. The replayer is sponsored by Chicken Breast. Make sure you go to your local store, wherever Chicken Breast are found. Sponsored and, by uh, chickens everywhere. 
Yeah, sponsored by chickens everywhere. Find a chicken near you. Just go outside. <laughs> yeah, if you if you're near you like a, support your local farmers markets if you're near near something like that. Or if you're in Nebraska. Or if you're in Nebraska, make sure you support your local farmers. And chickens. I literally forgot how to do this. <laughs> You'll figure it out. You can do it. Oh, okay, we got it. Bow, 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 bow. All right, so we kind of see this hand here, guys, that we just saw. This is our replay of the day, sponsored by Chicken Breast. So, single race pot here. Check, check on the flop. Doug led the turn, two quarters. Gets called. River's a six. He leads it for one-fourth. And uh, he goes all in. 64000 over that raise. 40000 more to call. Yeah. Landon, what are we seeing here, buddy? Yeah, I mean, Doug's going to have straights in his range for sure. He's also going to have 6x. He's also going to have a hand like 5-4 as well for a pretty nice bluff here. Blocking fives and fours full. Wow, 5-4. You can just turn that into a bluff here. You can and, see it. And, okay, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. That's and, probably the most likely bluff hand he has, right? What else does he turn into a bluff if he doesn't have? Yeah, like he wants to represent a pretty strong range of like full houses. And like obviously they're not straight too. He'll have 7-8 mm -hmm. here to get called by some more hands because it's straight to really strong hand in the spot. But he also wants to more importantly block Daniel's raise calls that are very easy for him. Mm -hmm. Hands like full houses. So the best hands to take would be a hand like 5-4 where Daniel's going to chuck the flop a good amount on 5-6-4 because it's really good for Doug. Versus Daniel opening with the Broadway carts and Daniel's and Doug is more calling with the lower sort of variety of hands. So on this river, Doug does improve to making full houses here with his own two pairs that he has and doesn't want to necessarily bet too big on river and polarize towards a jack because he's not really betting a jack for that sizing that much on the turn. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have some jacks and also going to have some. Well, he's not going to have that many six X's, right? So he's going to have mostly jacks. Like he's going to have like jack 10, jack 9, when flop goes check, check. But on sixes, he's going to want to block bet to protect his overall range and then have some very strong hands in that range. So when Daniel tries to go for some thin value with an overpair, Daniel can kind of, Doug can kind of go after it with a hand like 5-4 and force those to be indifferent on river. That's what I got. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, me. Thank you, you. Thank you for letting us know that. That's a nice yeah. breakdown, Landon. Okay, Beautiful more, job, more my money, friend. More money. Beautiful job, my friend. And, oh, another donation. No, the same, maybe the same one. Maybe the same one. He says you guys are smart enough to do your research. Yeah, I see. I see. I see your point. Good point. You made a couple. Thank you very much, Hex Motley Investor. I mean, you know, I don't know about this whole thing. Like I got said once again. Now I now I do want to research. Is it a scam or not? I'm gonna find out because I need to know. Isaac Palmer, shout out from London, Poppy. I'm two table in the match. Nice to have you here, brother. Thank you for tuning in. Right hand side. Two-thirds pot bet from Mr. Doug Polk. He gets called. Daniel, you know what? We gotta play the we might need to play the graphic here for Daniel pretty quickly, so. A little fireball comes across the screen. No big deal. Just got a little, just got the foot of fireball on the kind of A little, a little, a little, a little wizardry of like. Yeah. Exactly. A little you're right, you ready? You ready? You ready? Yeah. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> Ah! Fireball! There it is. Oh, okay, dancing. Oh, okay, a little dancing. Okay, a little mm -hmm. dancing fire. It kind of worked. It, yeah, we did, we we created a little. We pot just there. created some magic right there. We made some magic happen. Right hand side. Daniel takes it down. Wickman says, "Shout out to Chicken Breast everywhere, and thank you for sponsoring the stream. Thank you to the Chicken Breast out there of the world. We do appreciate you guys very much, man. There are more chickens in the world than people. Yeah, had to throw that out there. Yeah, it's true." Samuel Ullman, it's a pain to restart later on and you'll feel you're behind your peers. Whereas if you're already taking classes, you'll finish in less time. I'm not sure what that's referring to, but shout out to my man, Sam. Right hand side, three bet pot. Wait, you ready? You ready? Yeah. Okay, ready? Go. Ah! Guys, we're going to create a big pot here. Three bet pot, C bet from Doug Polk. Six, nine, six, turn, queen of diamonds. This is the orb of energy right here. The orb of energy is going on. Is within. We are calling out a big pot brewing here, possibly Dana Grano. <laughs> With the block bet on the turn. One third. Can we see a big pot here? The energy builds. It does get a call. 25,000 in the pot. As Landon plays with that energy a little <laughs> bit here. 41,000 behind. Will Doug Polk jam this river? 
I don't see it happening, but you never know. The truck is getting backed up. The truck driver oh, bets. I thought it was all in the first two. One third pot. Will we see Daniel there. possibly shove? <laughs> Will we see Daniel Negreanu take a shove here? He does fold. Uh, Doug Polk takes down another pot. $77,000 goes his way as he gets that one through. Very interesting hand. Very interesting size. My God. Chris C. Really enjoying the stream. Joey, very entertaining. Thank you very much. Shout out to Coca-Cola. Shout out to Edibles. Not Doritos anymore. Shout out to Healthy Doritos. If they're those things, they're so good though, man. You know what I mean? They're just so, this, this food's so I bro tasty. I broke my diet a little bit over Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. So good, man. I know, I know. The food's so it's so like it just snowballs so fast. Someone and It's all some, over the place. Someone brought some like creme brulees over and some cookies and the GTO move is you put the you take the cookie into the creme brulee and it's just oh, like yeah. it's just a, the greatest. The greatest dessert. It sounds delicious. It really does. But after, I mean, after the holidays, we kind of get back to the swing of things and sort of, uh, yeah, get after it. It's very nice hand there for Mr. Doug Polk. We have not had the truck go off the rails quite yet, as Dan Negreanu is uh, is not necessarily uh, doing well today so far. He's down a little bit of money. I wouldn't say he's down a ton, but yeah, he definitely needs to have a winning day here. Of course, you might say he doesn't need to have a winning day, but to me, I think you want to get your momentum back, especially after a big Thanksgiving. You got drunk, you drank a little bit, you got out of line. I think you want to come back here and get some confidence in your game. Chat is fired up. Thank you for all the comments. I'm liking you guys so far. I would love to respond to them all. Danny Wardle. What was the biggest jump has been in player tendencies during the jump from mid to high stakes cash game? Love the streams. What do you think the biggest jump in, in player uh, tendencies? People are more aggressive at higher stakes. Like they're willing to f put the money in the middle, kind of force you to make decisions for many dollars on rivers where in theory, they're very solid plays, but it's some plays that people in lower stakes might not make because there's a fear that goes on with putting in many big blinds for all of the trips with bluffs. But mm -hmm. You just kind of have to get over it if you want to get, try to play high stakes and understand that if you don't decide to take the bluff, which is inherently a zero EV play, which is the way Salt comes up with bluffs. Can we never say that you again. You actually, what? Salt. Can we never say that again? No. Let's call it something else. The Sim. Let's call it Jackson. Jackson? Let's call it Jack. Let's call it Rhino. Rhino. Right. Let's right. call it Rhino. I'm a serious. Stop, Rhino. Let's not call that. Let's call it, let's call it something else. We're rebanding it right now. Let's call it Rhino. So either way, bluffs are inherently zero EV. So if you decide to check back with the hand that's supposed to bluff, you're actually losing money. So like you're losing money not taking the bluff versus taking it. And that's something that high stakes players understand more and understand that that's why downswings could go on for a while mm -hmm. versus not taking the uh, that approach. But that's another story for another time. GTO, left hand side three bet pot here by Dan, Dan, Doug Polk. Daniel calls. D next checks it. Let's see what happens. Right hand side, big bet on the river. Daniel, put to the test once again. Thirty eight hundred dollars. He raises the river. Wow. The full house gets there. The flush is there. Dana Grano looking to strike a little bit of blood here. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here comes. Dana Grano speeding around. Does he have it? The Tesla truck. He whipping and swerving right now. He's swerving right now. He's getting out of line. He's going back and forth. He's speeding through. Does he have it? Will the Tesla truck make it through with this bag of money? Well, there it comes. Oh, there it goes. The Tesla truck. Hopefully we time this right. Cyber truck. The truck is driving through. Oh, the truck is back. Bow, 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 bow. Doug Polk massively in the tank here. What is he thinking about doing here? Trust it seems like he might make like a pretty marginal bluff catch potentially. No, he lets it go. The driver truck comes in, steals the pot. Get the, get the steal one, get the steal one. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. He stole it. We just saw, that's the escape, the escape vehicle right there. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Comes in, comes in hot, takes the pot down from Doug Polk. Very nice hand there for Mr. Daniel Negreanu. Yeah. Left hand side, we saw another pot went Doug Polk's way. Right hand side, Daniel picking up a little bit. And uh, and yeah, man, Doug trying to uh, put a put an extension on this lead. Probably up a little bit over a buy in right now so far. Mm. 
<laughs> Left hand side, three bet by Douglas. Yep, Doug K. Polk. Polk. Douglas K. Polk. Queen eight nine board. Two diamonds. And then C gets it. Then I catch it. That's great. Oh Molly Investor, another donation. <laughs> Money isn't everything unless you're playing in a rebuy tournament. I row Rick. This guy's like a big. Uh, if you want Joby, I can set up an interview with Richard so you can learn more from the creator himself. So now we might get an interview with the creator of this alleged the alleged <laughs> scam coin online. It's, now you're saying it's not. I mean, listen. I want to talk to the guy now. I don't know. Now I'm kind of interested I mean, in who this guy, what this guy is. If it's he, a, he, is it a scam he, or he not. He is quite sponsoring this pretty. Yeah, you know, thank he, you. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much, by the way. Maybe if we keep talking about it, it goes more money. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I, I'm not sure what's going on here, guys. Yeah. Left hand side, three bet pot, free flop. I never had this happen before, so I'm not sure what to do right yeah. now. But uh, we're just, we just going to hear the support, for it. right? But at the same time, we don't necessarily yeah. want to be promoting anything. So please do not click <laughs> on that link in there. And, uh, and yeah. <laughs> We're just having a good time watching some poker. Yeah, we're just trying friends. to watch poker. We're not trying to, you know, not, not trying to send you to a cryptocurrency uh, exchange. <laughs> Left hands. At least not yet. At least not yet. <laughs> Left hand side. Doug Polk, three bet pre flop, check, check, turd. Bets pot on the river. Yeah. And it gets called. He, he shows has a down. 10. He has the straight. Straight is good. Nice straight there for Doug Polk. You know, probably call it two pair. Another $41,000 pot goes Mr. Doug Polk's way. Left hand side, three bet pot. Daniel, bet the flop, very small. Gets your check called. Turn is a nine, checks back. River's a four. Let's see if Doug Polk, what he decides to do here. Can we get Simon for the new name for Sims? Simon says. Simon <gasps> says. Tiger, oh, Tiger Woods, shit. smash the like button. Let's make Joey and Landon proud for their hard work and get the likes to 1,000 before it starts. There are 3,442 people here. Okay, thank you. Right hand side, Doug Polk shows the king jack. So he just check called. Three bet pre flop, check call flop, check, check turn, check, check river. And nice hand. Nice, very nice hand by him. You hear that? Landon, you hear that? Hear what? No, I don't hear it yet. Do you hear that? You can't, I, I don't hear it yet. Not yet. I see what's going on here. Do you hear do you hear that? I don't hear it yet, no. Oh, okay. Never mind. But we will. But we will, okay. We will hear it. A couple small pots here brewing. And you will hear it. The chat will hear it. And they will rejoice. Yeah, good action today, Moonlight says. I agree. Definitely a lot of good action here going on. Swap of small pots, check down to the river. Twenty six hundred on the left. See what goes on, Dan Negrano. What's he gonna do? Oh my God, fourteen of them. You hear that fourteen time? You hear that? What is that? You guys hear that? We need like a rainforest theme. <laughs> As you guys see, not many folding going on here pre-flop. Small raises, 3x on the buttons. Oh. Guys, wait a second. I hear something. Could that be the gorilla? Is the gorilla coming back out? We saw the gorilla last time. Is the gorilla coming out to play? No, I mean, he might be coming back out to play. <laughs> right hand side, Dean X makes that min bet on the flop. Makes another bet on the turn, 2100 on the jack. When Doug, uh, when Doug faces that small bet on the flop, he's going to have a very wide range of hands. He does check call the turn. Queen on the river. Makes a full house. Any queen, any jack. And Daniel shows down pocket kings. Does not get a value bet there on that river. Obviously scared of the flush, scared of the queen, and scared of the jack. What do you think about that value bet, bet, bet normal check back? I think it's close because he does unblock ace highs that do call the river. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's really hard for him to get paid by worse because hands like lower pocket pairs now have the inherent value of whatever pair they are high. Like pocket sixes turns into six high. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to kind of get value from worse. But you also get called by ace highs because the board is so high that you're going to have pocket pair bluffs yourself too. Mm -hmm. So you could probably go for some value, I think, for some half pot and then fold to a raise for sure. 
Well, he does decide not to go for value there. Left-hand side, check a bet and a raise from Doug Polk on the turn. That's a very interesting river as the hearts get there. So Doug raises the river lead, or raises the turn lead, rather, representing a hand like a two-pair, ace-jack, ace-seven. Or a seven, combo draw, yeah. Or a combo draw himself, too. Yeah. So in spots like this, it's going to be more prevalent to have clubs than hearts because you kind of want your opponent to have more club draw, like heart draws that continue on the turn, but you also want to have like a mixed frequency of having flushes yourself, mm -hmm. like the nut flush he has yeah, right there. Said, the second combo nut flush. draw, nice hand. Doug it's Polk there. backs that truck up. So as Landon said, he's going to want to have combo draws on the turn in addition to his two pair value hands. And he does have the king 10 with the gut shot, with the heart draw, hits the flush on the river and takes that one down. And Daniel Negreanu reeling a little bit on that left-hand table, right-hand table, three bets pre-flop. Yeah, Daniel is... Uh, not looking good these past couple sessions here, boys. He's going to need to get some momentum back on his side. He comes into this match down about six and a half, some buy-ins. Right-hand side, Dean eggs, three-bet pre-flop. C-bet's the flop. 6,100. Oh, my God. Wow. Doug Polk calls. Turns a five. Four, six gets there. Eight, nine. Picks up a double gutter. Seven five two pair sometimes right, jack five not really likely for either player. Twenty thousand dollar pot here, Dane Negreanu. Looking to get some momentum back on his side. What will he do here? Does he have a strong hand? He bets eight thousand into twenty thousand. Doug Polk. I feel like we feel like we got a fire pot here, Bruin. Let's see what happens. More fire. And here we go, guys. The energy ball, energy ball. $36,000 pot going on the river. Dane Negreanu. 26000 behind. If he has an overpair, he can't love that jack. The jack makes trips. If Doug Polk has a hand like a jack 10, a jack 9, Daniel does shove. Doug snap folds. And just like that, Dane Negreanu picks back. up a small pot, goes his way. It's quite a big pot, actually. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean a big, a big, a, a nice pot goes his way. He definitely needed that. Dane Negreanu. One of his first big pots of the session. And uh, just like that, he's kind of making a little comeback. You need to understand that everything you do at the poker table conveys information. information. Bum, bum, bum. Nice hand there for Daniel. What do you think he had there? Probably most likely an overpair or, or jack. A jack and some bluffs, of course. Like queen 10 blocking the strong jack X kind of hands. But, yeah, I mean, pretty solid line from Daniel. Just a bet, bet jam. Mm -hmm. In a spot where he's polarizing pretty hard or representing a jack or not. And he is going to have some jacks for, for sure. He's going to have some boats. And it's pretty evident, right? Like, he's going to have a good hand or he's not. Mm -hmm. And he polarizes that hard, so. A good hand or not, right? Makes sense. Sometimes it's that simple. Sometimes it is Sometimes that you simple. You just have to call, Joey, right? You said you just call me every time. Yeah, I would just call you when I have a strong hand, exactly. But what if, you, what if you don't have strong hands when you get to the river? Then I would fold. It'd be hard for you to win. It's hard to make good hands. I know. Sounds like a problem, Joey. I know it really does, doesn't it? Well, let's play. I mean, we're going to find out, aren't we? A little bit. We're going to find out, aren't we? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Nice hand there for Daniel. Doug in the driver's seat in that left-hand table, right-hand table, two-third pot from Doug Polk. Takes it down. All right, guys, we do We do have the first sponsor. Should we do our first sponsor ever? This is supposed to be a gorilla. I don't like that gorilla, but guys, we are we are going to talk about our first sponsor here as the gorilla kind of comes up here. We get the gorilla sounds back. During this action, we can't get the gorilla sounds back. Kind of sounds like somebody's snoring. But yeah, we are sponsored <laughs> by my man, my man Glenn over at Gorilla Gaming. Gorilla Gaming has great, 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 great poker tables on uh, on their you, website. If you want to go to their website, you can customize it here. You get to make all these different options like that. I mean, I was playing here a while. You can do the felt, you can do cup holder, accessories, trays, legs, a bunch of different stuff. They got a great website. They got a really great product. You got a gorilla that kind of does all this crazy shit right there. What if you got another gorilla on the other side, like mirroring that gorilla? I will do that next time. But yeah, oh, yeah. listen, I don't really work with many companies, but uh, Glenn I've known for a long time. He's got something called Bar Poker Open. It's a great event series that's in Nevada and New Jersey that gives back to recreational players all around the country. <laughs> Look at this gorilla, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. man. Listen, we're proud to have him on the team. Look at this break gorilla. dancing, karate right -hand fighting. Right-hand side overbet from Doug Polk, too. We're fired up. The gorilla is bringing out the action. Bringing out the fun. Lay down, gorilla. Take it down. 
Amen. Amen. Oh my yeah, guys, Wow. Out. Links in the description. Realgaming.net. Check out your tables. Tables for all sizes. He's doing haymakers. Hey, I know he really is. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine taking one of those to the face. <laughs> Good night. Whoa, this Whoa. Guy's crazy, dog. Look at this fucking guy. It's man. like 15 minutes of animation, right? Hey, man. Wow, a double kick. Double kick. <laughs> Dude, why is he so balanced? I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Whoa! <laughs> That's insane, dude. And he gets back in reset position. Look, he's, that's Tai Chi right there. But bam. Well, all right, let's get him off that's the screen. True. But yeah, guys, real game. As you can see, logo on the bottom of the screen, legendary poker tables. Excited to kind of form partnership with them moving forward and uh, help bring some great poker tables all around uh, all around the United States. Maybe the world, too. I mean, wow. Like they were that, at work. Yeah, like that was, was crazy. Wow. Isn't that crazy? A flying kick. I know. People were talking about when you said about Call, he's gonna have some strong hands, he's gonna have some weak hands. Well, basically we're putting it as simple as possible because on the river in that spot, he's gonna have jacks plus, or he's gonna have over pair plus, he's gonna have trip jacks and he's gonna have bluffs. So, right, we're, we explained it to you the long way and then we explained it to you the short way. So if you only heard the short answer, you missed the long answer that Landon kind of described before that. But bam, back to the action here. Motley Investor is continuing to fire away. <laughs> Thank you. Someone else had another one up there. Murray McKinney says, Jesus, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> These guys are fucking crazy, guys. These comments are a little weird today. I'm going to be honest with you, man. They're excited that you're back, you know? I, yeah, yeah, I'm excited I'm back, too, to see all these, see all these people. Honest, today's Saturday, right? Today is Saturday, yeah. Saturday, nice 3.45 Saturday p.m. Eastern Time. I don't know what is going on in this chat here. Left-hand side, overbet from Doug Polk after raising pre-flop. Yeah, the, the 6-8 is there. The jack-10 is there. Nice little small over bet. Makes sense. Takes it down. Nice hand. Right-hand side. Small pot down to the river. Just one bet. Post-flop. $2,900 in the middle. Doug two-thirds pots it. Daniel folds once again. Doug Polk left-hand side. Three-bet pot. And Daniel calls three, three deuce, two diamonds. Wow. See what Doug's gonna do. Bet's 5,500, a little bit bigger bet. Is this not a board people bet small on? Three, three deuce, they bet they don't go one third or anything like that. Daniel calls 19,000 in the pot. Well, I mean, on that board, it's pretty strong advantage in over pairs for Doug. So if Daniel has a hand like sixes and stuff like that, those are just gonna call no matter what size you choose. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of just leveraging with your overall range. And here comes the truck. Here yeah. comes the truck backing up. Doug Polk attempting to back up the truck. Goes for a check on the turn, makes some sense. An ace is pretty good for Doug. I can see him using a block bet sizing or a polarizing all in sizing. We will see. He can also do some checks, some sneaky checks. Yeah, some real interesting river with ace of diamonds. Flush gets there, but ace king makes a better hand. Ace jack makes a better hand. Doug does check. Let's see what Daniel's gonna do here. If he has a flush, what's he gonna bet? And he, he checked both back players check back the ace. Chop it up, chop, chop. So both players, so Daniel calls the flop with the with the ace five, so he had the gut shot and the ace high. Doug with the ace ten does not decide to bet the river and uh, trying to pick off a bluff potentially from Daniel. And yeah. they chop it up. Right hand side, one thirds pot on the flop. King five six two spades turns the queen. Might see an overbet here from Doug. Definitely. Gonna have more kings, queens, king queens. You're getting it. You're getting it. Amen. I don't know how I knew that. Got to see him overbet there a few times, right? I don't know. The king five six high card turn. They overbet. What's well, a pretty intuitive overbet for you? Like, right yeah. There. What if you're like seven eight? You can overbet. So the question is, what overbets do no, I want to set seven, my bluff if with? If you had seven eight, would you overbet that? No. Well, you should. Okay. Okay. So I should overbet seven eight. Jack I should 10. overbet jack ten. Yeah. I should overbet kings queens. What am I betting regular size then? I'm not betting regular size. You are. Okay. Some some weaker kings. Okay. Like 
one pair of kings. So my strongest you're kind of polarizing towards hand strong under, hands. Right, like makes sense. Makes the bigger sense, bet yeah. means you have a good hand, mm -hmm. which means you also might have a bad hand. Right. So it's like you could have like queens. So overbet or, thing really throws me off. Pot and I haven't overbet in a long time. So and by not a long time, I mean I haven't. I mean, if you did in Pot Lamoa, you'd be you'd be cheating, Joey. <laughs> That's true. That you would, would straight cheating. up be cheating. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> the whole overbet concept to me is just uh, something very different. You can just change over to pot and you'll be fine. Okay. EV difference might be a little bit smaller, but mm -hmm. you're used to pot, you know, just pot. Yeah. It's so much easier to click one button of pot than it is to like Can, scroll yeah, the wheel. Scroll over bet, yeah. Like type your own bet size, you know? Well, Daniel's going for three, four, two, three fourths in the turn. Two, three, four. Yeah, like 75%. Okay, yeah. You got it. it takes it down. You're there. I'm looking. I'm like, am yeah. I got this wrong here? Or if it is in 1984, we all love you, Joey. Whatever you've been dealing with, trust me, we all understand. Just keep pumping out the content. The majority loves you. Thank you, buddy. Love, you, love you, Joey. Love you too, buddy. They love you. Right hand side, three bet takes it down. Left hand side, three bet takes it down for each player. Daniel is looking for a big pot. Clay says, Joey, when you played Doug back on the truck to the money pot emanation, put the, mo the pile of money on the pot. Yeah, it's a good idea. That's a really good idea. He's got. Chat's got some ideas. The chat? I love the chat. I mean, you guys are... I really do love the but chat. But the problem, the problem is when the truck comes by, it goes over the board. Uh-oh. Four-bet alert. Energy er, ball. Er, er. Energy ball. Four-bet here from Daniel Grano. I don't love this energy thing. This energy thing is giving me the creep sometimes. I kind of like it. I kind of like it too, actually. Yeah. Energy's building up here. What will Doug Polk do? We have not seen a jam in quite a while. Yeah, it's been a while since a pre-flop ball, pre ball in, to be honest. Uh-oh. Doug Polk does call. Ace Jack Five. That's going to be a good board for the four better. Is Doug going to have a hand like an Ace Jack? Is Doug going to have a hand like an Ace Ten? Maybe a King Queen suited. Daniel goes with that quarter pot bet. We've seen that often in these four bet situations. Yep. What does Doug do here if he has a hand like a Jack Ten, a Jack Queen? We call. We call. Well, they do call. Turns a five. Flush misses. Pot size bet left for Daniel Negreanu. $29,637 in the middle. Daniel Negreanu needs this hand. He checks back. He's saying he's got nothing. He's saying he doesn't have it, Landon. That's not true. He's saying he doesn't have it. That's not true. Will Doug Polk turn a hand into a bluff here if he has a missed draw? Queen 10, King 10, maybe some spades. He checks it. Daniel, he's going to show it down, isn't he? 29,000 in the middle. Pay attention. 28,000 behind. He did kings. Yep. King, king. Kipaka, king is an ace high flop. Name a more dynamic duo, Joey. Us two. <laughs> Us two, but I mean, sure. <laughs> name, a, name like a... Yeah. So Doug... Everyone knows about pocket kings and the ace high flop, Joey. It always comes. <laughs> so Doug, Doug has the queen jack offsuit. I mean, that's true. It really does always come. But... So <laughs> you you said so, always. So queen jack offsuit is a hand that he three bets and calls a four bet too. That's yes. normal. Yeah. Okay. Flop very standard check call turn check check river check check. What can you do? Yeah, river. You don't like a value bet there. No. No. Okay. Way too hard to get called by worse. Okay. Right hand side D next three bets takes it down. Left hand side low pop brewing here. Uh, uh, Motley invested. I shared your stream with the hex community. If it gets wild. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Left hand side. Bet flop. Check, check, turn. River is the deuce. All the draws miss for the straight draw. 7, 8, 3, 5 gets there. 7, 8 misses. 8, 10 misses. 5, 7 misses. Daniel leads out. <laughs> Smell that? It smells like a bluff to me. Does it? Mm hmm. But well, Daniel takes it down. You're not going to find out, Joey. Right hand you side. Would have <laughs> Doug check calls the flop, leads on the turn, pairing card on the seven. Let's see what he does. We've seen this often. Check call flop, lead the turn, one of the board pairs. Rivers a three. Doug's going to have some sevens, have some fives, deuces, all sorts of draws as well. Very wide range once he goes ahead and do does that. And he goes for a pot bet, saying he's got. At Something least a good. seven. Something yeah, at good. least a seven. Maybe a straight. Maybe Takes a it down. five. Yeah, Daniel folds once again. Right-hand table. Doug's battling back a little bit. Left-hand side. Daniel only needs one big pot to make this even. Right-hand side. Daniel three bets pre-flop. 4,100. They are a little deeper here. Pay attention. 53,000 deep. 
Doug calls. We've seen Doug very likely to never fold the button. To, or he does fold the button three bets, but he certainly... <laughs> never fold the button. Yeah, this isn't Papa Noha. He, I mean, if he, if he was to never fold the button in heads up, he would be playing with very, very wide hands Yeah, it wouldn't be all good. the time. It'd be very difficult. So right-hand side, Daniel three bets after C-betting. Jack 10, six, rainbow. And Doug does bet 2,300, 8,300. What is the no limit hold'em at? It's over there. Queen on the turn for Daniel. Great card for his range. You know what? I'm going to get that. Go ahead. Go get it. Go pick yeah. it up. I'm going to wear the hat. I'm going to change. Let's see what Daniel's going to do here. He check calls the flop. Turn. He overbets left hand side. Gets snapped off by top pair. So Jack seven. He turns into an overbet bluff. Interesting choice of hand. I got quite the look coming up there. Yeah. Doug did not believe him and calls and wins another pot. 117,000. Right hand side, a big bet from Doug Polk. 12.2K. Very interesting play by him. He called a three bet pre flop, bet small on the flop. Daniel <laughs> calls the turn. <laughs> Timmy, hey, bring it down. Go. Timmy, pot size bet left here for Daniel Negrano. Backdoor flush gets there. Daniel, check three? calls flop, check call turn after three betting pre flop. Wow. Can Daniel strike some blood here? Landon, looking like Johnny Depp in blow, like he's going to go do, sell I a nice do. order on the beach to a bunch of college kids. Doug Wait. might right here backing up this truck if he goes all in on the river here. What's Doug Polk going to do? He's saying he's got a straight. He's saying he's got He hasn't said anything yet, Joey. <laughs> Will he tell him on the river that he really does have it? He goes all in. He says it. Let's he go. Oh, the back push. push gets the back there. Push oh, gets my there. God. Wow. Doug Polk. Holy moly. Wow. Doug Polk. Backs himself into the flush with the four six of spades. Daniel Slow plays the ace king on the turn, and he gets destroyed by Mr. Doug Polk. And ladies and gentlemen, Doug Polk is officially on fire, fire. my friends. Doug Polk is absolutely freaking his little heart out right there with the four six of spades. Daniel Negreanu, so unlucky. Yeah, he check calls the flop with the tech, with the ace king. Doug's got the four six. The turn is the queen, and the river is the backdoor spade, and Daniel Negreanu loses a $100,000 pot to Doug Polk, and that has to feel so good. What a bad beat for our friend. He also had the ace of spades. That's pretty really fucked. God, what oh, a, man. oh my gosh, what a sick hand. Wow, I feel bad for Daniel Negreanu. I mean, that was the time to get momentum back. Now, now listen, I mean, you know, what do you bet the river most likely not, we got to assume on a blank, but. <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> Holy moly, what a hand. And that does not feel good for Daniel Negreanu. That's something that really stings in your stomach. It stings in your chest. We've all been there. We've all we've all seen it. We've all had the nuts and then got cooled by the super nuts. God, it's so fucking tilting. Four bet alert. Daniel might be tilting. He might be steamed up a little bit. Left-hand table. We got Dip something energy brewing. Ball. Energy ball. The energy's brewing. Daniel Negreanu. I think Doug Polk might smash this one in, guys. The energy builds up. We need to make this like lower passage or something like that. What's Doug going to do? 10.4K four bet. We've seen him call the four bets. He does call again. King 6-6. Six, six. He's going to have King Jack. He's going to have King 10. He's going to have some sixes right-hand side. Doug three bet preflop. C bets takes it down. We can only replay one hand in a row, so we missed that hand because we only get one, so we can re we can re rewind it and kind of go back and see it, though, if you guys want. So let's see what Daniel does here. He four bets again pre-flop. We've seen him have a wider range. Doug check calls. $29,000 in the pot. King 6-6, six, six, deuce. Dean eggs, four betting very wide. Does he have a king? Does he have a six? Does he have aces? I got to think he doesn't. <laughs> I got to think. But let's see. Daniel's not feeling good. I mean, listen, your your opponent doesn't fold. They check call the flop. I mean, this is not an enviable spot to be in. If you're Daniel, what will Doug do? Is Doug going to put his foot on the gas? 29,000 in the pot. Maybe he makes a bluff here with one of uh, maybe like a backdoor type of hand. He turns into a bluff. Like a He does go all in. I think you know, I don't think he's bluffing. Not why, why do you think that, Joey? I'm telling you right now, he's bluffing. Daniel, can Daniel make the call with pocket tens? Lays it down. Doug Polk. What? Steamrolling. What a hand. Doug Polk, guys, he is officially reaching that danger zone. He 
is on complete fire right now as a supreme leader. Debatably, one of the best known the old heads up players of all time. The fire from Doug Polk. And he is extending that lead quite well. 131,000 on the left, 112,000 on the right. Wow. This is not going well here for Kid Poker. He's got to maintain that composure. I think we'll see a short, short session today. The Gorilla Gaming going Gorilla. We need a Kung Fu Gorilla back. Doug, left-hand side gets fucked. Doug putting the four bet down. The truck is going out of control today. Doug Polk is putting it down, backing up the truck again. He's going to make another bank visit. He's swerving in the truck right now. And Daniel does call here, Landon. 6-5, five, five board, 21,000 in the middle. Doug Polk makes one of the first four bets. Here we go, guys. This pot, 21,000 in the middle. Daniel Negreanu needs something on his side. The truck is in absolute control, speeding through the city of Los Angeles during rush hour traffic. That's not going too fast. <laughs> that, that truck's kind of stopped. I got to explain it after this hand's over. The, the Daniel truck, the check truck calls, stops here. He check calls quarter. River's a seven. And let's see what goes down here. Six, five, five, seven. This turn is a seven. If Daniel has nines, what does he do? Turn's a seven. If Daniel has tens, what does he do? Uh, he calls. Does he get stacked by the overpair of Mr. Douglas Pay Polk? Is he bluffing this time or no? Daniel, Doug's got it. I think Doug. Oh, he checks back. Does he have it? I don't think Daniel's got it. Does someone have it? I don't think someone's got it here. What do you got the heart? What do you consider it to be? I don't. I, I'm not sure. And Daniel shoves all in. Doug doesn't snap call. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Doug's in the tank. Maybe dun, think about dun. making a loose call with like an ace king. Dun dun, dun dun. Maybe a seven. Maybe a six. Dun dun. Maybe a slow roll. Imagine. Will the truck get backed up here? Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. <laughs> On the edge, he calls. Oh! He's out of there, baby, Doug! Oh! Doug's had enough, baby. Oh! You're right. They both didn't have it. Oh wow! Douglas K. Oh. Wow! What a call by Doug. Wow! Oh, oh my God! <laughs> wow! Wow. I mean, God, why is this replay only show one hand? I have never been more tilted ever in my entire life. Ever, si ever since I put this hat on, Doug's kind of been going off. <laughs> wow, Doug Polk with the complete ownage takes him out, sides, and beat him like a, wow, what a call. Ace Jack, as we're hit with the 200 donation from Motley Investor. Thanks for all the haters. I tried to donate 500, but YouTube's cutting me off. All I ask you to do your own research. Keep up the great work. Joy, glad to have you back. Thank you, Motley Investor, for the support. We will check out your project and see what we think. And uh, wow, I mean, what a hand, guys. That was absolutely insane as Daniel Negreanu is. He is sitting out, guys. And we are an hour and a half into this match right now. Daniel Negreanu is sitting out. Doug Polk is completely on fire. We got to put this guy out with the rain or something. Maybe we can cool him off for a little bit. I don't really know. We got to cool him off somehow here, Landon, because this, this, this. This is going to get ugly. This is getting ugly here, guys. This is getting real ugly real fast. And uh, Doug Polk, wow. Absolutely. Doug, Doug sensed that momentum. Absolutely owns him. I got to tweet this out. What a call. What a hand. And Danny Negrano is walking around right now. He is he is not feeling good. He's kicking his chair. And guys, I don't know. Do we get a first dance? I don't know. First dance? I, 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 I. You hear that? Yeah.
Match is back on. Stop the press. Stop the press. Doug Polk is back. Danny Negreanu is back. <laughs> I mean, we, we miss Kat Jan. Danny Negreanu takes the break. He gets four bets straight away. Four bet alerts. Four bet off the rip. Let's go. Action game. Wow. Right hand side. D next three bets. 3,200. He's off the seat of his pants. He's off his rocker. Doug Polk is looking to put the stake through the heart of Danny Negreanu as he takes down another pot with a four bet. Doug, is Doug going to give him with the race? Doug just calls the right-hand side. That pot's <laughs> building 14,000 in the middle. That was a nice little dance session right there. <laughs> Doug is looking to put the nail in the coffin of Kid Poker. Daniel Negreanu, 14,000 in the middle. d going with an $800 bet. We haven't even seen him do that quite play quite yet. What will happen here? A check back from Doug Polk. Nine on the river. The 10 makes the straight. Clubs get there as well. Smash the like button if you're enjoying the action. Hey, boys, support the channel. Support the match. As Daniel checks. I fucking hate saying that. And he shows down the A7, takes it down. 14,000 Dane Eggs way. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. 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 What a hand. What a call. Wow, wow, the wow. The old man was indeed caught speeding. The old man, Dane Negreanu, caught speeding. How, how, this is a call. Dude, how disheartened are you? If you're, if you're I was going to say me personally, like, if, I'm chilling. Yeah, I got some money on Doug, you know? If you're, if you're getting steamrolled and then, and then. They own you. And then they own you like that. I mean, Ace Jack. Yeah. And we knew, I, I like told Daniel's, you they I like nothing. Daniel's, four bet alert, four bet alert. I like Daniel's all in for what it's worth. He played his hand pretty good. Yeah, I mean. He had king high, block Ace kings, Jack. block I mean, queens. Yeah, true, try right? to get Ace yeah, high to yeah, fold. You know, it is what it is, okay? Hashish. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Left-hand side, get in the game, guys. $20,000 four bet pot going here. Queen five, six. We've seen Doug show up with the queen jack off suit in the four bet pots. Daniel is capable of have anything right now. And Doug leads. So Doug calls the four bet, leads the queen six five. Yep. Which makes sense because Doug didn't have a lot of hands that connect on the six and the five and some two pairs and some. some here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Doug might just stuff it with the six five of clubs right here, folks. He could do it. Six five of clubs. Yeah, very possible. The smoke builds up as Doug Polk calls the four bet, leads the flop. Daniel slow playing his over pair. Has that ace queen. Yeah, All in is. for Doug. Daniel does not snap. He calls ace jack. Oh! Yeah. Doug. Doug Polk. Queen 10 backs up the truck into Daniel Negreanu. Daniel calls that board with the ace jack. And Doug Polk is officially on complete fire. The truck is being Backed up into the mix today, Dane Negreanu. The fire. Hits, improves his hand on the turn, but unfortunately for him, Doug, Doug Polk had the top pair complete master, master class of top pair. I mean, that's a, that's a, a sick hand right there, huh? Negreanu. Aye, aye, aye. I'm mad for the car. Look at that car. Oh, my God. Wow. What a hand. Wow. Very, wow. Very unfortunate for Daniel turning a pair because he does have, he does beat some of Doug's bluff. It's a, blood, it's a bloodbath. <laughs> wow. Fuck, man. This is sad to watch him. I mean, you don't want to see a call like this, but Doug Polk. There's still has, a lot of poker to be played here. Yeah, Doug Polk's got his foot on the gas right now. And uh, somebody call the police. There's a murder taking place. So, right. God. <laughs> do we have a, do we have a, 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 a a cop car emoji because we might. Yeah, you think we should cool up, Doug? Let's cool him off a little bit. What do you think? Sometimes you can't be stopped. You want to cool him off a little bit? Let's try. The power of the no limit hold him hat, yeah. And these glasses. Look at this combo right here. Ever since you put this outfit Look at this on, fucking things, combo have, right things here. have gotten crazy. This is like the fucking action. Like, imagine if I pulled up to like a private game looking like this. If you pull up to a private game looking like that, you would get a seat forever. Yeah, I agree. 
Doug is up $210,000 this session, we're being told. A min three, but on the right, he's steaming out of his he mind. Yeah. It's coming out of his ears. You think this is an intentional, a fake, an intentional misclick? Left hand side, three bet pot. Pay attention here, guys. Pay attention. Dead body in some way. Oh my God. Pay attention, three bet pot. Doug Polk checks the flop. He check calls, turns the ace, Daniel, his king 10, counterfeited by that ace possibly. I'm trying to look at, look at the glasses right now. Cause like the ring, right? I know, looks, you look fly. Let's see what happens here. What will Daniel do? Min three bet on the right. 960 from Doug. What is Daniel Negreanu going to do? Does he have the flush? He goes with the 5,200 ball. Yeah, he's going to check a lot in this turn. I bet small, yeah. So he bets small. What will Doug Polk do? Doug Polk has some of those ace jacks. He's check calling the flop with after three betting pre-flop. He does check call. Turns off rivers of four. The flush is there. Full house possible. Can Dnex get a pop back here? He needs it badly. 24,000 in the middle. He cut a shove it. Oh my God. He says he's got a strong hand. Douglas. Can Douglas make another light call? Douglas. Will Doug make the hero call here again? I mean, I mean, if he continually Pocket wins, nines? If he continue, yeah, pocket nines at the club. Unblocks that queen jack, that king jack. He does fold. Dean Eggs gets it through. A small pot goes Daniel Negreanu's way. We have not seen the truck derailing today. The tire has remained on. The woods remained on the delivery. The money's back in the bank for Doug Polk as he's trying to drive through and deliver a drop off to every bank in North America today. As a truck driver, Doug Polk having a long shift today. And he is out of control, swerving. He's swerving. Nice hand. Does anyone know who I'm streaming with? I'm streaming with Johnny Depp from Blow, <laughs> AKA Mr. Landon Tice. Debatably, one of the top 21-year-old players in the world. Debatably. Debatably, one debate of them. Anything. I mean, I'm sure you know some of my European my European friends are gonna are gonna have a little. Uh, he plays cash games, right? Mid stakes cash games, high stakes cash games. Got into tournaments, having tournament success. The kid plays it all. He's one of debatably most uh, the next up and coming American poker ambassador. We work hard out here, working hard from Florida. Now he lives in Vegas, and that is what it is. Did I explain it? Yeah. Gorilla Gaming, legendary poker tables. It feels like this poker table right now is a legendary poker table as we're witnessing history right now. Doug Polk is turning up the heat. Dane Negreanu may have drank a little bit too much wine and whiskey on his Thanksgiving break. I can only imagine like if someone like tunes into the chat and like they just like see this outfit with no context. Like what the fuck is yeah, going on? Yeah, they would on? think that. They would think that you're one of the coolest people I've ever seen. I right? agree. Yeah. I mean, that outfit, the outfit, that outfit is so fly. With the jacket and and like the skull pants. I mean, they, they don't know about the pants. Yeah, dude, you're looking, you're looking, you're looking good, buddy. That's the flavor pants. Buddy. I would definitely, you, I would definitely recommend you wear that a lot of places. Yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking do it, Joey. You know, these are my cousin Timmy's glasses, right? I know Timmy. Yeah, I know Timmy quite What's well. Guys, Timmy. You want Timmy? Maybe Timmy should break down a hand. You guys think Timmy should break down? I don't know. You think Timmy should break down a hand? I think the chat would like if Timmy broke down. I, I mean, Timmy, I mean, he's been playing, you know what I mean? Been, yeah, I don't know. I've been playing chess. I've been playing Queen's Gambit. I've been watching chess. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Tim, wow. What kind of chess, Joey? <laughs> Left hand side. Delayed C bet from Doug Polk. Takes it down. Eric N. Hi, Joey. Big fan. Thank you, Eric. Much love, everybody in the chat. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Very nice to see you guys back again. Day 12. Daniel Negrano, Doug Polk. Doug came into this match up $265,000. Doug Polk currently up this session about $200,000 himself would put him up about a total of $500,000. Right-hand side, d Danks goes to the overbet, 4,400. Ryan says, make sure to get loud for the next big hand. I'm about to start cooking. I got you, bro. <laughs> if you guys don't know when a big hand's happening, pay attention to the, the octave my voice hits. Octave. Is it? Octave, yeah. What are you, a fucking professor and music teacher? No, I just know words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, I just understand vocabulary. I just know oh, words. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You know what's crazy? Actually I can't even say this. It's too embarrassing, so never mind. I can't say. Go on, Joey. My little brother was making up some uh some game the other day. It's like a um, Is it a real word or not? It's like a game where you like ask you questions and you write things down on papers. It's kinda like Dungeons and Dragons or something, but some other type of game like that, right? Okay. And um during the game, um he said like, Oh, write an adjective or something like that. 
We said, "What the fuck is an adjective?" I was like, "What the fuck is an adjective?" Yeah, you know, Guitar. not for not. I'm not classically trained in this in, in, adjectives. in word theory. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I just speak, I just talk. So now well, I've been in the English lab all weekend. What's an adjective? Give me an adjective, Joey. Running. What? Is it? No. I don't know. <laughs> That's a verb. Oh yeah, verb. I, seriously, I don't, know, me, I don't know the difference. Honestly, I really don't. Adjective <laughs> describes something. An adjective describes a noun. Like what this, does that matter? This pretty outfit. The adjective is pretty. But what does that matter? I don't understand. It mattered when I was in seventh grade, and I kept it getting. It literally doesn't. It, it matter. mattered when I was in seventh grade, and I kept getting C's on labeling things like prepositions and adverbs, Joey. But does it matter in the real world? Fuck. No. All these English dorks think they're so fucking smart because they know what adjectives are. You know what I'm saying? Like, come uh, on, man. Just like just like poker players think they're smart because they know poker. <laughs> that all makes sense. I mean, poker, I didn't pay poker players school, think that we can, we can, we think we can like f figure out. And solve uh oh, the check world. race, Doug Polk. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. What's he saying? He's got seven, eight here, boys. Jack nine, ace nine. Seven, seven eight. eight! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just does not end. <laughs> wow. It does not end. Holy moly, the back door straight. Wow, what the hell is going on? Doug Polk is running like a fucking. I I mean this is this is this is this is just a look this is just a massacre. This is just a bloodbath. The chat's going crazy right now. I'm trying to get uh, I'm trying to get that replay up here. Replay sponsored by Gorilla Gaming. Let's see it here. Mm, 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 mm. So back to the flop. Daniel bet four hundred dollars. Doug calls seven eight. Backdoor straight draw. Backdoor trip draw. Backdoor two pair draw. Turns the six. Doug calls another bet twenty one hundred. River makes the offsuit nine. The hidden backdoor straight H D B S. And hits him with that small check raise fifty two hundred sixteen point nine k. Doug Polk. Wow, wow, wow. Forty thousand dollars. Yeah. And just like that, Dean eggs. He needs to understand everything you have to do with the poker table conveys information. Sometimes it is not your day, buddy. The bloodbath is on right now. <laughs> the bloodbath. Daniel is out to not spill his blood. Makes sense. I mean, listen, I'm trying to you know, come up with these free. I don't even know what happened in there sometimes. Come up with some, some sentences, Joey. Try it. With some knowledge. Try and talking and, and paying attention to four things at once. I would, wouldn't do it. Yeah. Right hand side, min bet from Doug Polk, 789, straight flush possible. 5 6, 10 jack of diamonds. D next throws at the 3x. I don't know what's going on anymore now, guys. So D next is going to check raise small in the 789. We saw Doug Polk do that multiple times last session. And he takes it down. Guys, if you're tuning in, much love. Thank you very much. We got a lot of people watching in the stream right now. We got a cool 4,600 out there. Smashed. Oh, no, you're enjoying it. Make sure you guys are following for more updates on this channel. I'm also posting updates on my Twitter. And if you guys want to follow along on Instagram, I do. I post a lot of kind of what I'm doing behind the scenes a little bit. Family, friends, what I'm reading, what I'm studying, what I'm learning, what I'm into, what I'm interested in. Landon posts pictures of all the tournaments that he wins. So if you want to see Landon win a bunch of tournaments, then uh, follow him there too. I've oh, done pretty well in tournaments in this past year. How much are you up? I don't know. I think I'm up. Like 300,000? A little more probably. <laughs> A little more. The kids up, the kids up the south, three hundred thousand started playing tournaments in July. So it goes yeah. to tell you, my man. Uh, I think I saw my man Barstool Nate out there. What's up, Nate? What's happening? Shout out to Nate. Shout out to Cracking Aces. Great podcast. Check it out there, guys. Host a nice, uh, nice content as well too on Instagram and on Twitter. Supporters of Cracking Aces over here on this channel. Left hand side, Pots Brew in turn makes the flush. King Ten gets there as well. Proud of you guys for all the awards you've won for these streams. Thank you, Steven, Ricky. I heard a doorbell ring, and you guys know what that means. Two, two, Andrew Cool, aka Big Dog, aka Yardsticks in the house. I'm gonna go get him. Hey, you stay yeah, out you go get him. You get him. You don't get him. Dean Dean X makes a small bet on the turn. I don't know. These sizes are, are starting to shift here, boys. We have not seen some of the sizes this match. Dean X might be really, really, really toggling the strategy to, to, to a different uh, a different level here because we, we've already seen a few different sizes so far since he came back from that last break. Shout out to Sven. Much love, much love. Left-hand side. Have we seen that one-third pot standard C-bet by Doug Polk? 
Daniel calls, turns a five, got shot, gets there. Four, seven, deuce four. Bro, can you imagine in 10 years when someone pulls up the stream and you're wearing this hat and those glasses oh, yes. with that fucking hat? Hell fucking yeah. Dude, this, is, this is for history. <laughs> you make, this guy was a great legend at No Limit and you can look back at these streams and you just see me look at you like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna bring in a special guest just got in the building. We got my man, Tutu Andrew, Andrew Cool, AKA Big Dog, <laughs> AKA Yardstick, AKA in. Stallion, AKA Kloss, AKA Handy. AKA my little brother. What's up, baby boy? What's happening, buddy? <laughs> Hello. What's up? We doing poker? Poker, poker. We doing it in. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Who you got? Doug Polk, first day in the ground, a little bro. Who do you got? Uh, I mean, I got Doug Polk too, man. Doug Polk, you and Doug Polk fan? Yeah, yeah. If you guys didn't know, Bander's been on my streams multiple times over the years. We've seen him grow from a 16 year old boy stuck in the friend zone, as he put it, not us. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't. And uh, now he's a 21 year old man, got his beautiful girlfriend out here. And they're staying at my place here in GTO headquarters. We're happy to have them here, but we're just watching a match right now. We got a bunch of people in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat. 4600 people out there watching. What's up? Make sure you guys show them some love. And right now, we got my man, Doug Polk. He's got 230,000 on the left. He's got 110,000 on the right. Mm. Danny Negrano has 44 and 44,000. Andrew, what does that tell you about the match so far? It says, uh, Doug Polk has a better chance. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it says. Exactly yeah. what it says he actually. figured it out, you know. So, uh, yeah, and King he takes that another pot, another... two pair for Doug Polk. An even better chance oh, now. Shit. Yeah, yeah, and he's up about maybe five hundred thousand right now, bro. Oh, he folded right away in that one. Yeah, yeah, my little brother. Uh, tell him about your poker experience. I beat Joey once in a hand. <laughs> what are you talking about? You beat me on anything in poker. I, I beat him once. <laughs> he did not beat me in a hand. He thinks he can beat me in a hand, guys, and I've let him know he can't beat me in any hands. So if we played a million hands, I'd win a million hands too. Wow. A, a, a bold wait, claim. Wait, 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 wait. Anyone want to place bets on that? A million <laughs> hands? I don't win once. <laughs> Everyone plays bets. Fold, folding counts. If he folds, I win. A million to one. Right. A million to one. Thank you, little brother. <laughs> <We're coming in>. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to back up his own truck right now. Jeez, what kind of hustler are you, buddy? <laughs> right hand side, another big check raise. Pay attention, guys. It's Doug Polk. Deuce five does get there. Check for that raising wheel. the turn. Daniel bet min on the flop. Bet that 2100 on the turn. Deuce five gets there. Two flush draws out there. Wasn't a three bet pot. More aces. Kings all in for Daniel. He's got a draw. <laughs> Does he? Of course he's got a draw. He would have just called the other hand. He gets all takes it down. <laughs> nice hand for Daniel Negrano. He knows he's full of it. Come on, man. Come on. Ace, he, he, gotta, knew, he, he, knew he could shove all in there with his draws as well as well as his as strong. I think he, I think he I think he's unbalanced. Okay, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's unbalanced. Fuck it, why not? I do, I'm serious. But that's it, guys. Daniel, nice pot goes his way. Little brother, do you want to say something to the chat? You have a give a message to them? Do you want to update him on your video game career? My little brother has been studying, as you guys know, to be a, a video game creator. And uh, yeah, god, he's, he's, and he's future god. And future video game creating god. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, so do, you, do, you, do you got a game coming game. maybe in the works people should look out for, little bro? Uh, <laughs> I'm working on something. He's awesome right I now. I told my brother if he creates a game and somehow makes a game, I will do the marketing for free for him and I will pop that shit off as hard as I can. So as long as he puts a game out, it is in total complete D-O-double-G dog, then <laughs> we will we will all be supporting it's him. I'll be streaming it on the channel. Yeah. I'll let, I'll, if anyone else decides to stream my brother's game, right? You guys get a free roll ticket to some sort of tournament. If I, I'm doing something. I'm doing something. We're for, going for, hard for We're that. going hard to help out the little bro for his first video game. So, and, uh, and yeah, guys. That's just what it is. You guys support your little brothers, support your friends, support your people out there. They're trying to do things. Daniel, small pot on the right hand side. Baby Joey, man. This would be, yeah, like, yeah. Baby Joey. Overbet here, guys. What is Daniel's just choosing random sizes now, Landon? 5,600. We have not seen. He's spicing it up. He is spicing it up. He does get called. Club's so. getting there is a little bit better for Doug, but we will see. Uh, Doug Polk, check calls turn, saying he's got a strong hand, strong draw, 10 jack, makes a pair. Oh, big, okay, 11,000 from Dnx, pretty fast, takes totally it fun. down. Mm. Nice hand. Baby, what's the game? What's the game called? Do you have one? Preflop store says, I'm also a game creator. Hashtag, hashtag unity. He doesn't have a game yet. What kind of game are you? Just give him a few more, few more updates so they know. Uh, it's, it's a psychological survival game, uh, multiplayer. Like what? Uh, so it's... Um, it, I can't really give away too many details. 
you know, that's how it works. I, Useless. I don't don't you? All right, guys. Let, don't, no one take my brother's fucking game idea, okay? Please. <laughs> don't tell him. It's fine. I don't have a problem. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you guys updated out there for any, for any of the 22 Andrew Cool people that know him out there. Yardstick, Stallion, Kloss, Handy. He took and a great... Memes. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. That's, that's not half of them. <laughs> it's like a third. Hmm? Left-hand side. Maybe a quarter. Work email, don't make poker volume prop bets with Joey, the GOAT of the original 50,000 hand challenge. That's true. Queen Jack is going to win it. Mm. Small pot for Doug on the right, pot for Daniel on the left, trading pots. And you see Daniel making a little bit, a little bit of comeback. It's something. It's something. We take solace in knowing there's something happening here. It's not nothing. It's something. Very nice hand. Yeah, EA Sports is listening out there, Andrew. You never know who's watching, buddy. Yeah. You got to pitch them. What do you want to work for? A company? Blizzard? No. Epic? No. The same thing? I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's not the same thing, no. <laughs> if anything, it would be Bethesda. Bethesda? Yeah. There it is. I'll try to get your job at Bethesda if you want, okay? But you got to be good. Okay? Okay. Be good at what you do. I'm good at level design. Perfect. We're good at overbetting on the turn, on a queen, when it's king, low, low. Right? What's GTO. Gonna be, what's gonna be? What's gonna be? What's it gonna be? Daniel calls river. Oh, not oh. a good card for Daniel oh. Grano at all. There, ace on the river. So Daniel check calls over bet. Gonna have flush draws. Not gonna have too many ten jacks. Sometimes have. No, not gonna have any of those hands either. They're checking. King six, nice hand. That makes sense. German two pair on the flop. Mm. Okay. Turn continue with Germany river. Nice hand. What do you think this match today, today, Landon? What are you seeing out there? I'm seeing Doug uh, make some good hands and make some good calls. Is what I've been seeing right now. Mm -hmm. You're seeing Doug make. I mean, that's really the match, that's right? Basically, as simple exactly. As that, right, making on. those backdoor hands. We saw the backdoor flush. We saw the backdoor straight. We saw the queen ten versus the ace jack. We saw the king. We saw the ace jack versus the king queen. Right, making big calls and making big hands. I mean, that's really what it comes down to We're here. We're seeing it all. You know, we're seeing a two pair for Daniels. You know, win you it. know what I find impressive though is that we really don't see Doug Polk losing many big pots these past couple sessions. No. Right? Like he's just in control of these hands. Like we don't really even see him making big river calls. Like it, it doesn't, he's in, you know, it seems like he's at Dan Grano figured out pretty well when it comes to putting a lot of money on, on later streets. Yeah, definitely. You sure. know what I mean? Like we are just seeing him not even really end up in spots where he's facing this large aggression on rivers and in these inflated pots. We're not seeing that a ton. Right hand side, Doug goes with the pot bet. Jack eight nine four. Daniel calls. Not a good river for a lot of draws. The ten does not get there. Flush does not get there. Doug with the lead. Two thirds lead here and the three. Wow. It's unusual. That's a dog flop. Wow. Mm. What a play? Mm. Gets paid. Daniel mm -hmm. calls it off, and Doug check calls the top pair two kicker with the flush draw. Check calls turn and then turns that into a lead. What's up with that, Landon? Right hand side, left hand side takes on another pot for Doug Polk. Queen seven goes his way. Nice. Normally, I know what's going on, but I haven't looked at river leads in that spot very much. So, um, not sure. It seems like the idea was he did have hearts, which makes it very unlikely that Daniel has hearts himself. Uh huh. So, he kind of was representing like a brick draw or a strongish hand, and he had a pair with a draw, like a top pair with a draw. You think one so. of them got queen there? Got a queen in their hand? Maybe. Queen. Right. This you think one. Doug or Daniel has it? Oh, you want me to teach about ranges? Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, so I oh. teach you, now you teach Andrew. Oh, okay. I teach Andrew. Okay, Andrew here. So both players are capable of having queens here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But doesn't the pre-pop raiser have more queens and hold them? Exactly. So theoretically, when they both check back the flop, Doug's going to be checking back some queens. And Daniel is going to have, he could have an ace, a queen, or an eight. Oh. Or a 10 deuce of clubs. Or a 10 deuce of clubs, too. Daniel had 10. But when nobody bets on the flop, you don't necessarily figure out much more. You figure out <laughs> stuff from ranges pre-flop. Yeah. So in heads up, ranges you are very wide. So on the button, which is what Daniel is, he's going to be playing, what, like 80% of his hands? Yep. So he's going to have a, a very wide range. And then that position player is going to be three betting a certain frequency. You're going to be folding a certain frequency and then calling a certain frequency, Has too. Has Doug been folding a lot lately? Uh, no. No. Because like, I've seen him fold like five times already. And I haven't seen Daniel do it once. He's on to something. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you're on to something, buddy. I don't know. I, I, we'll, I we'll, 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 we'll enjoy this apple size here. So he's, get, he's getting some dog hands or something. Yeah. Trying to explain to my little brother. That'd be a great series. Try to explain poker to someone who doesn't know poker at all. <laughs> and then he plays you. 
I think he plays me. So it's like you play me and then you play him. Perfect. I don't look at my cards, just go all in every hand. You win one hand? Mm, it's probably you win the one best. Hand. <laughs> we could have a whole pot set up for that. Right? Left hand side, overbet in the flop from Doug Polk. Right hand, or turn a three. Goes another overbet. Jesus Christ, dude. Goes for the mega overbet. Goes for the mega overbet. The greedy overbet here, 12.9K. The pot of greed. The pot of greed <laughs> for Doug Polk as he takes down another pot. Oh, there he goes again. Another fold. Bro, maybe you're onto something with this. I don't know. Maybe Doug is playing tighter now pre-flop. Wouldn't that be kind of tilting a little bit too if you just tighten up out of position? Do you think Doug doesn't necessarily think about that? He's just thinking about let me play every hand how it's supposed to be played. And That's exactly how he's thinking. Okay, cool. I'm just making sure. You never know. Yeah. Doug's just going to do what he does. And Daniel's going to do what he does. And Doug likes himself more than Daniel. Makes sense. That's all I got to say about that. Makes a lot of sense. But bam. That's a lot of money. JD says, do you live at your mom's? No, my family's in town. They're, I'm in GTO headquarters here in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Life center. <laughs> right hand side, three bet from Doug Polk. I'm a wizard. Queen four three. Three clubs. Daniel facing a very small bet, twelve hundred dollars and eighty two hundred. Daniel continues six on the turn. Both players capable of having flushes here. Doug three betting. Very nice frequency. Capable of having all sorts of hands. Daniel not gonna be folding that small bet very often. Yeah, Doug, 3,500. Daniel calls once again. River is the fourth club. Bow, bow. Bow, Would bow. that be a straight? No? Uh, straight already got there in the turn with 5-7, oh. but a flush does get there with the, with the okay. fourth club, yeah. I don't know. Let's see what Doug does here. Bet flop, bet turn, pots the river. So he's telling me, he calls. Oh, That's the nut flush. flush. Wow, 53. That's pretty good. Thousand dollar pot goes that's, Mr. That's, Doug that's Polk's way. Good. My little brother's just a new player, but he's smart enough to know that that's a good hand. That's pretty fucking and, good, right uh, there. Wow, another big pot goes Doug Polk's way as he makes the nuts and he is back in the truck. There goes the truck. There's the truck, Andrew. You see that? Oh shit! That's Doug cool. Polk's face on it backs up the <laughs> truck into that pile of money, and Doug Polk once again is on absolute fire here in the match as he. Uh -huh. As I'm setting, setting this lead. Look at that. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch, hey, watch, your, watch, out. watch your hair, man. Watch out, bro. Watch out. I got, this, hair, I, got, I got this hat to protect Cut me. Cut that you know? hair, buddy. That's why he wears the hat for it. So it's a fireproof hat. Yeah. And glasses. <laughs> wow, what a hand. Doug went for max pain on the river. Pots it left hand side. D next. Small pot goes his way. We'll take anything. Golf clap. <laughs> Golf clap with me for Daniel Negrano. Wait, 4,000 is a small pot? <laughs> in relation to the stakes yeah my little brother says four thousand dollars is a small pot question mark yes it is in this match bro yeah dean eggs is getting to the two hour mac and we got to believe he's getting he's going to quit pretty soon here bob says doug is up two hundred forty five thousand dollars so far Damn. my little brother four thousand is a small pot how does that make you feel that's fucking sick dude <laughs> <laughs> Doug is up like six fines today, it Doug, looks like. Doug is currently up about 550000 though. Judge, <laughs> uh, judge, the... You better sell a lot of games, buddy. Shit. <laughs> you better make sure you make a good game. We can sell that bad boy. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Here we go. Right-hand side. Daniel. Yeah, get your brother a chair. You want a chair, bro? Pull up a chair, man. Go grab a chair. Okay. Go with a chair, chair, man. Chair, man. Chairman. Little brother joining the group, Christopher Kwong. Right hand side, D next checks back flop, three quarters turn, river. Gonna have some trip fives. He does bet big, 3750, takes it down. Nice hand by Dane Negrano, and he is trying to make a comeback. Doug Polk absolutely on fire right now. He is dominating this match. My little brother's in the house. 2-2 two, two, Andrew Cool, a.k.a. Big Dog. Here he comes. Dun, here he dun, comes. Dun, trying dun, to learn dun, about dun. poker. Very nice mix here. We have debatably one of the best at Hold'em Theory. And then we have debatably one of the one of the up-and-coming learning players right now. Here to learn and ask simple Potential questions. Potential learning player. Yeah. So we saw there a three bet from Doug Polk or Dana Ground on the right-hand table. See what goes on here. 8,200 in the middle. Four, five, six board. Daniel. We've seen him very capable of getting out of line with those three bets. He does check it. Would that be a flush? 
Uh, left hand table, five sp four spades. You just need one spade in your hand to have a flush, correct? Yeah. Cool. 22 Andrew, cool. Learning. <laughs> He's learning. He learns quick about these flushes. Three bet on the table from the left hand side. Three bet on the right hand side. Check, check, flop, turn, 10. Let's see what Daniel does. Checks once again. D Doug, you see Doug's defending a lot of three bets. Doug is not folding to many three bets. Oh. Check on the right-hand side. Goes to the river. King of clubs. King queen gets there. King jack gets there. Certainly possible for Daniel. Left-hand side. Quarter pot, 2,400. King nine, six. Right-hand side. Check to the river. Does show that king jack offsuit, like we said. So he's not betting the king jack offsuit for value there. Trying to induce a bluff from Trying Doug. to induce a bluff. Left hand side, 7 8 gets there on the turn. D next checks it. We got pretty deep stacks here. 50,000 more to go. 13,000 in the middle. Not a good river card there. Eh, is it? Is that a good river card, both players? Eight diamonds. I think it's, it's better, better for, Doug, for right? the caller, yeah. Better it's for the caller. So flush gets there. Seven gets there. Let's see what Daniel decides to do here if he faces a bet. Doug Polk. Will he bet two pair for value? Yeah. And he does bet 8,800, 13,000 pot. Very tough spot for DNX. I can see DNX show up like a king jack, king queen. Maybe ace king. When we surprise see him have a slow play here as well. Capable of slow playing some flushes. Landon really locked in there. Gaze is low. Yeah, we looking. Looking for anything to find out what he might have. And Daniel folds, and Doug has $228,000 as the truck rolls through the station. Yeah. 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 That truck, truck driver, Doug Polk, flashing through the neighborhood right now as he is extending that lead over Kid Poker, Daniel Negreanu. So you can see here, Doug Polk using that small raise that strategy, 900, 928, 1,000. I think Danny might be tilting right now. He's folding a lot more on that right side. Maybe just getting a, a bad, getting hand, really bad hands, distribution of hands. Like, yeah, yeah. He, he could work with it. it. It can't be that bad, right? Like every single well, time. And well, okay. well, it could be that bad, yeah. Uh, well, that's how it be sometimes, you know. It could be. It could be. <laughs> sometimes you just got to fold. It's a game, a game of patience, buddy. You got to be patient. You can't play every hand. I mean, heads up, you can play almost every hand. But you got to be patient. I'm here. What are you doing? I'm what were here. you doing last night? You zoning. I'm chilling. What were you doing? I was up till 6 a.m. What were you doing last night? Look at me. 6 a.m., hair done, tank top on, bottle of water in hand. Or on table. I'm 35 years old. You're 21. How are you ever falling asleep at fucking 4.30 on a Saturday? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm staying a break, man. Jeez. <laughs> I was 21. I didn't. I didn't fall asleep for six days straight. Sometimes. Jesus Christ. Because you were on Adderall. No, I wasn't. Yeah. I was yeah. 21. No, I didn't take yeah. Adderall. No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, how much you want to bet? I bet you 25 million dollars right now. Shit. I did not try Adderall until Shit. I was Come in on. my late 20s. Come until on. Until your late 20s. Yes. Come on, Co. Okay. Bet me right now. No. Shake my hand. Let's make the bet. I won't do it. If we, I, I, well, that's mom. <laughs> if I win the bet, you gotta cut your hair and you gotta shave that fucking face. No. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, then. Fuck it, why not? Right-hand side, big bet from Daniel, 4,100. Takes it down. What would I have even taken Adderall for when I was 21? I was, was, it, was it for working at... at yeah, for you working? Need, you need to, yeah, you I wasn't need studying. Juice, juice Man 315. You're studying <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah, what are you talking about, man? No Adderall Jeez, going man. on. I don't need Adderall when yeah. I was younger. What are you talking about, man? Different substances, maybe. Adderall, no. Adderall, no. Other side, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Take Adderall. Adderall. That was a natural, baby. Drug free. Yeah, okay. Red Bulls. <laughs> mm. They give you wings. <laughs> Three bet on the left hand uh, side. <laughs> we sponsored? Yeah, sponsored Red by Bulls Gorilla sponsored? Gaming. Sponsored by Gorilla, Gorilla Gaming. No, 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 not Red Bull. Gorilla Gaming is our sponsor today, right now. You want to see it? You want to you you make it. the Gorilla noises for us? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go Come on, hand. Come on, buddy. Chill out, buddy. Pot size bet on the right hand side from Doug Polk takes it down. Left hand side, three bet by Doug Polk. Check, check, flop. Turn is a three. Ask mom. LOL. Yeah, it's ask so funny. Mom. Rivers is six. Backdoor flush gets there. The line. 
Take care, preflop store. Much love. Another check for Doug. Doug maybe has a jack. Let's see what's going on. Will Daniel fall for the bait? He does not. Jack 10. He's a god. Just saying. You scared yet? Did you make a bet that no. Daniel would... No, no, he wants to. He want. He he's this guy's foolish enough to think he can play me heads up and hold him. Oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah. fool. And heads up. Yeah, me versus him. We're gonna play. Who do you got? I mean, how many hands? Uh, That's a hard hitting question. Probably, we'll probably go later. Yeah, I mean, we gotta discuss that more. Yeah, do that more first. Probably <laughs> like ten hands. I'll play like a ten hands. Ten, ten hands. hands. No, I'll play. I'll play you a thousand hands. That sounds doable. I'm not doing a three-month I mean, challenge like these psychopaths. I'll do you. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a few-day challenge. Okay. But I get to quit whenever I want. <laughs> okay. And you got to show me your cards. After the hand. Every After time? the match. Yeah. Every time. After each session. I'll stream oh every time. God. We both stream with whole cards. What okay. do you mean? Okay. I could do commentary. Joey, 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 Joey. Eh. I like you, buddy, and you're my guy, and I love you, but I'm not but sure I want you on the comms for that match. Maybe Holy we get shit. I don't know what happened. Maybe we get my man. Maybe we get Nick Shulman in the mix. Maybe I don't know. I think Shulman. he would love to do it. Maybe Is Doug that... Polk. Maybe Doug Polk. We get him to do commentary for the match too. Who's Shulman? That's the god right there. He's one of the best commentators in poker. Nick Shulman. He's a god. Cool. That's the gorilla right there. He's our friend that lives in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens here. A couple singer race pots. Doug bets the left hand side, small bet. Right hand side, Daniel bets the turn, takes it down. Playing a little bit longer than two hours today, it seems. Left hand table. Daniel does check call, turns a 10. Glad to have you here, buddy. Always good to have you out here. Always good to have you out here in Vegas, man. Love seeing you. Nice pot goes Daniel's way. 8-9 offsuit. Right hand side. d eggs checks. <laughs> See what happens on the right hand side. Waiting for Daniel after the match to say how perfect he played again. Yes. You're waiting for Daniel to say that after the match. Someone in the chat said that, yeah. 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 Daniel takes down a small pot on the right. Daniel is looking for his first big pot of the session. We've seen him win a couple 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 hand. Actually, do we see him winning a $40,000 pot so far? Maybe one? I don't think so, yeah. I don't think so. The dab in salmon. What's up? What's happening? Checks back on the right hand side. Five, six, seven, eight. Two folds in a row. Mm hmm. Min bet from, from Daniel leading out in the turn. Interesting. Is that normal size? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Like almost quarter pot. And he does take it down. The min bet. Not commonly seen. Left hand table. Small pot again. Where's everybody watching this from, man? Shout out to the chat. Yeah, shout out to everybody in chat. We're watching this from G2 headquarters, Las Vegas, Nevada. Home of the World Series of Poker. Home of poker as well where's everybody out there from i know we get a lot of people usually watching from all over the world norway sweden mexico australia philippines nebraska upstate new york wow all yeah, over the place we got it all around here in the chat can you guys uh we're gonna have to start banning people or timing them out you guys keep insulting people's uh uh, you know, Dan Daniel and his, and his significant other, please stop. Stop being such assholes. Thank you very much. It's not going to work, Joey. They just need to get out. I'm going to time them out. Yeah, ban them. I don't know why they got to do that. Ban them. Ban them, Jerry. Bunch of people in the chat telling us where they're from. Sweden, Guam, Quebec, Holland, Holland. France, New Zealand, Portugal, Australia, J-Wolf. How good is oh, wait, we got, we Right got, hand side, pop bet for Doug. He's saying he's got a full a house. O-H. I-O. Right? How how good is how good is how good is how good is twenty how good is twenty two Andrew Cool at, at giving shout outs? Right inside Doug takes it down. Antarctica yeah. in the chat, Australia, Italy in the house, Morocco, New Zealand. You guys are just making things up. I think I want to hear Andrew do some shout outs. Eric Alexander <laughs> Svethold, 
The Norwegian 50, 50 donation. Thank you very much. Much love. Switzerland, El Salvador, Singapore, Chicago, Vancouver. All the chat's going crazy right now. It's going to Mill Mouse an hour. Hawaii. Manila, Landon, Hawaii. Landon. China. They're New Mexico. Landon. They're from Landon. Michigan. They're from Landon. They're from Landon. You guys are from all over the place, guys. Thanks yeah. for tuning in. Albania. One of my mod teams. Doug, nice bet here on the river. Takes it down with the Queen Jack top pair. Egypt. Right hand side, small pot kind of brewing. Yeah, D D Andrew's shocked by the chat where they're all from. Slay Show in the house. Foxwoods Casino. Miami, Florida. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I think we're going to have a third member for our dance party at the end of this session. Yeah, guys, we wrap up every session with a dance party. My little brother, I took him to Coachella for the first time when he was 15. The guy knows how to dance. He rocks his spirit hood like no one else in the world, right, bro? Exactly. The kid's got moves. Frank Mitchell says, marry one, kill one, bang one, Alan Kessler, Green Steiner, Seidel. Go. <laughs> go. Just go. Who, who, who's go? I, I can't even respond to that, buddy. And, and you just got jokes now. That's what Strange. Who's go? Who's go? You know? who, who is it? So Negreanu right now, guys, is doing not good. Motley Investor back in the mix with another 50. Hex no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We don't know what it is. We don't know if it's in line. We don't know if it's out of line. No, 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 no. But another donation was indeed given. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for the donation. We appreciate the donation. We don't always appreciate it. I'll go on a nice day with my family. It's kind of like when you guys buy Apple phones and, and they have all those those uh, document, those workers in foreign countries that are making $1 or 50 cents an hour and you're supporting basically, you know, that. Are we supporting that by this guy donating to us? I don't know. Is it the same thing? I'm not informed enough to give you an answer. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. It's one of those. Mm-hmm. It's one of those. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right-hand side. Shitty. <laughs> Half pot bet from Daniel. Gets called. Light too bright. Huh? Light too bright? That way you're wearing glasses? No, it's, be, it's for, it's for the, the clout. You know, I'm a clout god right now with this <laughs> <laughs> Fucking god. A couple of middle pots here brewing. Light is bright, yes. I like it. But bright. I'm still a god. Shows off the eyes, you know? Get the eyes going. Doug's going to lead the river. $1,100 on the right. Bet the river on the left. Two thirds. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens here. Left hand side takes it down two hundred thirty eight thousand dollars in Mr. Doug Polk's way. Takes down the right hand pot as well too. A couple big pots go, or a couple nice pots go his way. I'm playing for a little bit longer today. It seems. Yeah, normally it's two hours, but today we are seeing a little bit longer of a match. Yeah. Let's see how long this one goes. A four bet here from Doug Polk on the right hand side. Three bet on the left hand side. The smoke is coming up. What's um, He does call. Pop brewing here. Here we go. Twenty-two thousand dollars on the right, eighty-two hundred on the left. Three bet pot on the left. Check, check, flop. <laughs> right hand side, four bet. Bro, you gotta get, get the fuck, get your head in the fucking game here, kid. Step up to the plate, I'm you reading. professionals. Don't read, don't read the chat. They're out of line. <laughs> they <Doug>. are. <laughs> Doug four bet right hand side. Reading. Bet's forty five hundred on the turn on the flop gets called. That's how it be twenty two hundred cool. That's how it be. Do you think one of them has a three? Dude, just maybe yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just. Yes, he's, like, he's, no. <laughs> he's asking a real genuine question, Joe. You're shooting him down like that. What right hand fuck? side, thirty one thousand dollar pot brewing. <laughs> Doug Polk four bet pre flop attempting to back up that truck into Daniel Negreanu. He checks back the turn. He's saying he doesn't have that strong hand. Let's see if Daniel decides to bet the river. The flush misses. King Queen doesn't get there. Will he bluff with King Queen again? Oh my God! He went so for a non all in bet. He bets oh twenty three thousand. Oh my God! What's gonna happen? I don't know. We'll see, buddy. Angie, what do you think is gonna happen? Doug won't default. Yeah. 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 That's Doug lays it down. Say. Checks back that turn. Doug faces a river lead. Bolds. And it goes his way. So Daniel with a little momentum. Do you at least like scroll down? <laughs> I'm not showing you the comment, dude. Come on. Why are you laughing at anymore. his comments? It's Stop it. Bad. No, it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's just strange, right? That's it's how it bad. works, it's man. Strange. 
Eric Alexander, have some more of the Kroners. Thank you, Eric. Much love. What's that? It's a currency. Cr Kroners? It's a currency. Oh, yeah. It's a currency from Norway, I believe. Norway. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. They can donate a bunch of different currencies. Uh, what, what's the symbol for Kroners? Uh, I think it's just letters. Just letters? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Shout out to Miguel Martinez. I need friends like you guys. Thank you, Miguel. If you come to Vegas, you might find some. Not you saying might... the symbol doesn't look cool, though. It probably looks cool. Right hand side three bet takes down from by Day and Negreanu. Very, very important. It's very important. <laughs> the hex guy's probably Joey's best friend by now. <laughs> Listen, if they could buy my love, ACR would be the main sponsor of the show, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One sixteen above, we show you love. What kind of deal you guys think I can get on America's card room right now, guys? For to have ACR as the main sponsor of the show. You know what? Maybe they should sponsor a segment. Why not? Let's get them on here, huh? Hmm. ACR. Party, GG, run it once. There's a lot of folds going on now. Yeah, a lot of folds happening, Doug Polk. This is sponsored to you by folding. <laughs> <laughs> if you fold, you cannot lose any more dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Shabim Kumar says, what's up, Ansham from India? My brother, what's up, Shabam? What's happening, Kumar? What's happening, what's happening, Shabam Kumar? Is that how you say your name, buddy? He's, oh, my God. A little, little, what? Oh, oh. A little, little trip right there. Yeah. What'd I say? You just, you just you having a hard time. Tripped out on the name. You just having a hard time, Joey. I'm not a professional Indian name announcer, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like your fault. Yeah, I know it does. Yeah. Uh, right hand side, <laughs> check, check down to the river. I'm not a professional hat wearer, but look at me now. Looking fly as fuck. Maybe. Right hand side, <laughs> bet on the river. Yeah. <laughs> 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 takes it down with the six. There nice hand. I feel like I'm Kenny. I feel like I'm. Uh, what's that guy's name on on NBA, uh, NBA inside the NBA on TNT? Hey, I no, no. I feel like I'm Ernie, Ernie Johnson right now, EJ? trying to rein in, EJ? trying to rein in Charles Barkley and Kenny Smith back here. Why am I Kenny Smith? Because uh, that's who you are. But, but Barkley sounds cool. I'm Barkley. He's Barkley. He's got he rings. Be Shaq. I just get Smith. He's, He's got more Shaq. credentials than you okay. at poker, so he gets to be the lead one. Okay, yeah. That you could be. Sense. You could be Shaq. I yeah. could be Shock. Yeah. Shock. I don't even know who that is. Left hand side, Doug takes down another pot right now. Okay, that, Shaq. You know I you? said Shaq. You could be Big Shaq. Do, do you have two plus two guys, is four? Rain it in. Minus one. Minus one. That's Rain two it for in, class. guys. Rain it in. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I mean, if, if, if whoever is still watching this late into the commentary, we fucking love you. Yeah, seriously, we do <laughs> love you guys. Honestly, man, if you guys are out here watching the match right now, so I think they're all waiting for our end of the stream dance. They probably are. So right hand side, three bet pot here from Doug Polk. Jack, Jack, six. Two hearts going on. Landon giving me Ozzy Osbourne vibes. That's true. <laughs> are we betting on Tyson? Are we betting on Tyson Roy Jones? What's the odds tonight? Let's find oh, out. Uh, Roy Jones. I'm going Roy Jones. Yeah. Roy Jones. Right hand side. Doug C bets gets called. Tyson is favored. Minus two twenty. Let's That's get on true. there, bro. Let's get on Tyson. If Tyson loses, I just don't see it happening. It's got to be rigged for Tyson, I think. Shit. And by that I mean I don't know. Right hand side. <laughs> Doug both bets wow. another another pot. I can't say things again. Landon Bald for ten thousand dollars. Eighty-eight hundred. This hair is so this is a nice hair, man. But how can I pull off the look? I mean, ten thousand dollars, nothing. In and this Daniel pot, gets called. So. Three on the river. Ace Jack Jack up. six three. Doug capable of having Jack here. Jack ten Queen Jack King Jack. Jack nine suited. Big fold. Of course, Ace Jack. He does bet big. Twenty thousand on the turn here, from Doug Polk. Will he back up the truck once again? On to Daniel Negreanu. Three bet pot, bet flop, bet turn, bet river. Doug is telling Daniel, I've got an ace, at least ace king, ace queen. But he oh has the God. king jack. $72,000 pot goes Doug Polk's way. And Doug Polk is completely on fire, continuing ah. right now. Three bet the king jack, flop top trip, bet flop, bet turn, bet river. And Dane Negrano is absolutely reeling right now. Dude, Doug Polk is up to 140 on the right, 240 on the left. And that clinic. looked, I mean, I think that river was actually cost Daniel. I mean, that's like, like that river, blank river. If he thinks he has a strong hand, thinks Daniel, Doug might be getting out of line. Maybe he makes a call down there, maybe with a hand weaker than an ace. I think he most likely had an ace, but there's a small chance he had weaker than an ace. Sure. But so, probably most likely he just had an ace and, yeah. and paid it, yeah. Paid it off. So just like that, Doug Polk That's wins insane. another massive pot, and uh, he is dominating right that now. That happened so quick. 
It does happen quick. You just lost so much money. Right, you ready for it, bro? Yeah. We got some friends that want to stop by to celebrate Doug Polks. They're celebrating Doug Polk's victory today. They're taking they're taking Doug Polk's money over to the truck in that casket as Doug Polk continues to back up the truck. <laughs> Did they get the beeping song? Oh my gosh, man. That's really good. Shabar Kumar says, Kid Landon, Nolamit Prodigy. Shabam Kumar, PLO Prodigy. Mark my name. I'll be sitting with you guys doing commentary in a year. One year? I believe it. Listen, right buddy. Now? We'll be looking out for you. We hope you are doing commentary one year from now. I would love to have you here. And uh, hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up somewhere. Let's talk. Let me figure out more about you, man. The gorilla is excited. <laughs> This gorilla is absolutely beating Dana Granu down right now. The gorilla gaming official gorilla. Look at this guy. Boom, 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 boom. Watch it, watch it. Slip, 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 slip. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, right at the fucking head. Look at that headshot. He has to see. He has to see the multiple kicks. Watch it. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Right there. Let's spin around. Gets back in place. I like that. Oh, turns my way. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Bam. I need more fright breakdowns, man. Left-hand side, 2-3 offsuit, gets snap called by the Jack-3 of Doug Polk. Doug Polk takes down another pot, catches the old man speeding. And Dan Negreanu uh. still at starting stacks on both tables. Four-bet alert on the right-hand side for Daniel. Doug Polk. What's he going to do? Facing the four-bet, we've seen him very happy to call. Clock is ticking down. He does call king eight seven. Both players gonna have kings in their ranges. Daniel bets that quarter pot. King eight seven rainbow. Four bet by Daniel. The smoke builds up. What is Daniel gonna he gets raised by Doug Polk on the King eight seven? Ooh, 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 ooh. The truck <laughs> is, is, is honestly overfilled. Daniel calls, and we are going to see a big pot here. Four bet preflop. Check raised by Doug Polk. Turns a three. What does Doug have here? Probably two kings. Four bet on the left, as well, two by Daniel Grano. The action's picking up. Doug folds the left, right hand side. Will he shove? He does shove. He has two. He calls. He's got King Jack. River, the three of diamonds, and Daniel, Daniel Grano. Daniel. Finally. Takes one down Holy as Doug God. Polk, King Jack, top pair, Jack Kicker, where's runs our, into the our, pocket aces, and the truck is going to go the first, in yeah. the reels for the first time today. The truck driver, no, 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 no. No, please no. Ah! Ah! It comes into us. Doug Polk makes his first stumble of the match, and by stumble, I mean flop top pair, Jack Kicker in a four-bed pot. <laughs> what can you while do? the other guy had aces, and just like that, Danny Negreanu has got to be feeling good in his little recliner with the tank top on like I'm wearing and he takes down an $8,000 pot and uh he's gonna take that one and he was, due for, he right was due for something right that's a winner right there he was due Landon yeah. that play normal with King Jack yeah check raise flop King Jack it's tough to I mean top pair in a four by pot you're going broke Joey yeah so when you flop top pair in a four by pot you're always going broke yeah. 100 big blinds deep yeah well, that's pretty disheartening it's happy what if you Some... flop top pair with 10-8 and the flop comes 8-7-3, turn king, river race? Stacking you, off? You can get away. Can okay, get away. okay, okay, okay. Just making sure. You know you know that. You knew that, Joey. Well, I, they didn't know that. I mean, they probably did. Yeah. Johan says, no offense, I'm missing the strategy in this trio. The strategy man here is Landon. He's ready and he's waiting. Right-hand side, bet on the turn from Daniel after he and bet the flop. River Ace, hit him with a little bit, kid. A little what? Little some strat? Give this guy some strat and Jack 9 3. Daniel bets half pot. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the guy wants strat. Give it to him, please. I will. <laughs> Turns a five. I think. Uh, we go through spurts, yeah. you know. Sometimes it's locked in action. Sometimes strategy. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes we're watching that. Yeah, you can, you can be watched for the past two and a half hours. There is no strategy in there. So is Daniel done with this side? Yeah, it looks like he's done. Yeah, he might, it might be all over. Yeah. This oh. might be all over. Left-hand side, Doug takes down a pot. King nine. 
Mm. And Daniel Grano yeah, is sitting out. It looks like this might be GG. But it might not be. For Daniel, but he might be back. Let's wait. We've seen him come back multiple times here. Let's see what goes on here. Is Dana Grano? Is he calling it a day? We will see soon. We've seen this happen before yeah. in the past. Landon getting excited. He knows what's going to happen if this match ends. He knows what's going to happen if this match ends. It looks like Doug is probably up over $200,000 right now. That put him up about over $460,000 for the match. Scrim scrimshoe poker. What do you mean? Joey's big smart heads up no home too. Although he totally rocks at PLO. Thank you. I love that fucking guy. <laughs> Alex mm. Meltzer. Landon is the brain. Joey's the beast. Guy in the middle is the meow meow. <laughs> what the fuck? Perfect. We'll take it. That's so it. we don't know. Wait, no. Nope. He's back. He's back for more. There ain't no GGs. Daniel Negreanu took that break, went outside, walked around, stretched out a little bit, wrote in his journal, stayed his intentions, and he's back in the mix. Do you mean declaring and delivering? Do you think he wrote in his journal today that he was gonna that he was gonna lose this much to Doug Polk running like God? No. No? Okay. Sometimes it's how it be. How do you feel in this kind of situation, right? Do you feel like you ever need to sit out and you ever need to take a break? Because I know me, when I'm playing in these kind of th matches like this, I definitely need to sit out sometimes. Yeah, but you don't. You just fucking get after them. <laughs> I know. But I don't. But shouldn't some players do it, though, I think? I think a lot of players need to sit out in times like this. Yeah, I agree. The best players don't, but the worst players, this, <laughs> is, how, you? this is how they compound their mistakes, is that they get down a few buy-ins, and then they start spewing away, and they can't play their, their same disciplined game. They can't think. Their minds go crazy. Their blood's boiling. Their body's hurting. Their wife's <laughs> texting and wondering when they're going to come home and quit the session. You're telling your wife, wife, I'm down 10 buy-ins. I'm not fucking leaving right now. <laughs> your wife yells at you. She texts you. Do you want to see the kids? Do you want to eat dinner? I made this dinner. Are you not coming home to spend quality time at dinner? You're down 12 buy-ins. You know you should leave, but you don't want to leave. There's a guy to your right playing bad. You stick around, you play bad, and you lose three buy-ins to him. You go home, and your wife's mad at you. She yells at you for the next three hours. Sounds very personal, Joey. I'm just saying, man. It's something, <laughs> that, saying. It's something people deal with, okay? Sounds like some experience. My point is, is that you should leave <laughs> earlier before it gets to that point. Right hand before, side. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. Correct, sir. Right hand side. Dean exits the river. Sir. Dang. 2700 takes it down. Another pot goes his way. So Daniel fighting back a little bit. We might see one of our biggest pots of the session right now. Right hand side. We are about $90,000 deep. Alex Fisher said this is getting so rough it needs a Brazzers logo. Luckily for you, we don't, we don't have, we don't hate no, it. We don't hate that idea. You, we do have that. We do actually have a sponsor. It is realitykings.com. Realitykings.com. <laughs> wow. Some of the finest in. Wait, are you for real? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, I mean, sure. We could be real. Yeah. yeah could Eventually. Be. Any, anyone who relates to what I just said, you're going to be, you're going to be like, <laughs> You know how like uh, people watch George Carlin videos on YouTube and they're like, he's so smart. He called the future. He's not a comedian. He's a philosopher, right? That's what you're going to say to there right there. <laughs> he's not a poker player. He's a god. <laughs> That's what you're going to say about Joey. <laughs> Left-hand side, pop brewing here. 55,000 in the middle. Daniel checks back turn. River's the king. I'm just dancing to the, to the Yanni, Yanni music in my head right now. Yeah. I can. My little brother's locked in right now, trying to pick up on those ranges. And Daniel bet checks back turn, bets river. What kind of hands he's doing that with? Checks back turn, bets river. You could have some king high, some king high give up, some two pairs, some king fives. It's there king you go, deuce. king deuce, right? German two pair for Daniel Negreanu. Here it is. There's some strategy for you right there, but bam. So he checks back the bottom pair with the king high flush draw. Makes sense, yeah. Um, Why is that not a hand you'd want to bet? Um, well, I mean, you're not really getting much worse to fold and you're not getting much better to fold either. So, I mean, worse is, sorry, worse is folding and better is calling. So you also want to have some pairs in your track back range. So you can kind of have some coverage on like when the bottom pair does make trips. And, um, uh, you also have a flush draw, so you don't want to get your equity kind of 
at least a little bit in a different situation if you do get raised on the turn because out of position is going to have a lot more flush draws and suited hands than you so so i got i got a question okay what's up um he's fiending for his question if you get if you get a can you get a flush if say there's three of the same suit on the table and then you have two of the same of that same suit that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Okay. That's exactly right. I thought right. it was like a special thing or something. He's a absolute. That's exactly right, buddy. Good fucking question. Left hand side over bet from Doug Polk. He gets called by Daniel. We've seen this happen before on King Low Low Turn Queen. We over bet. You guys know the rules. What do we have? King Queen Kings Queens King Seven Queen Seven Five Six Jack Ten. We learned earlier. We know the ranges there. Bam. Backdoor flush draw as well too. We're gonna have some flush draws. River is the nine. What is Daniel going to have here? Going to have a top pair for a king. Going to have some slow play two pairs. And he rippers two pair with the king nine. That's a winner. It's a winner for him. Right hand side pot size bet from Doug Polk. I think he's full of it here. Let's see what happens. He calls queen six, ace queen high for Nate DeGrano. Yeah. And he is coming back a little bit. Damn. Just like that, queen six offsuit. Doug stumbling a little bit. Truck, maybe feeling a little bump on the road as Daniel Negrano getting a little momentum pothole, back in the right hand side. A pothole, if you will. A little pothole brewed up there. That was it was cold outside. <laughs> it was cold outside. Andrew, any more questions? Um, if uh, what, what is it? Just four of a kind. If you have like, say there, say if like Doug Polk right now has two twos in his hand. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it's right. A, it's just a four of a kind. That's exactly right. But like, um, so if, if someone has a king queen for that, the hand on the left, and if someone had a jack queen, would the king queen still win? No. So the, the jack queen would have a pair of jacks. The king queen would have no pair. Oh, okay. So one pair beats the high card. So one pair, right? And then it goes for high card, ace high, and down. Yeah. Okay. 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 So in that situation, if you have a pair of deuces, you beat a king high learning bam the more right, you know the more you know right hand side mm -hmm. over bet <laughs> or i'm sorry pot size bet for doug polk let's see what happens he does get called backdoor flush gets there on the river bdb's in let's see what daniel does big bet on the turn let's see what they show up with here Let's see what happens. What is Doug Polk gonna do? What kind of hands are you expecting to bet the pot on the turn with? He bets big. He's oh, gonna have like, like bluffs, like with the container club and them, and sometimes the jack. And he'll have straights and he'll have flushes as well too. He also has some two pairs like king queen, but we will see. You think he bet king queen this big on the river? I feel like he could have used the queen of clubs, but it's still kind of tough on this board. He, he called. Oh! oh! He's speeding. He's speeding. Doug Polk getting a little bit out of line, as they might say in the biz. And he gets out of line with the four or five offsuit. Daniel is roaring back right now. Daniel is roaring back up just like that, up to 120,000. So it was a good decision for Mr. Kid Poker, Daniel Negreanu, to keep continuing this match. And once again, we're going to pull up our hand replayer, sponsored by Brazzers. <laughs> Brazzers here. Thank you very much for being a part of the show. So as you can see, 4-5 for Mr. Doug Polk. He bets the flop with the reverse blockers. Backdoor, backdoor, straight draw, backdoor, trip draw. A couple pots brewing here. Pay attention to the tables as well, too. Bets pot there. in the turn when he picks up the backdoor straight draw. And then over bets the river with the 4-5, one club. Well, okay. Tough. I, he's, he's betting more and more money as he's losing more. Is that, is that a strat? That is indeed a strat. That, that, yeah. Yeah. When sometimes it's actually, yeah, it's a good question. It sometimes is. you got to bet big with the bluffs, you know? Yeah. That's, that's a bit crazy. Because you want to have your strong hands and your weak hands, too. That was a lot of money. Yeah, it was a lot of money, and a lot Don't of money be. goes Mr. Doug Polk's way. Daniel's way. So Daniel's call on the river there is normal <laughs> standard? Yeah, I feel like it's close, though. I feel like he might have some mixed call and folds in theory. Yeah, for sure. Because he doesn't really beat much. You most likely want to have a club in your hand to block some flushes. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like queen eight with the queen of clubs would be like a snap call. 
but this one I can see like mixing some folds as well because you're not really beating much. Because there's no value hand that Daniel has that he's beating. He's bluff mm. catching. So when you're bluff catching, you want to have relative hand strength versus absolute. So it's better to kind of have a hand with a club and like a strong, like maybe queen jack with a club would be a nice like bluff catch because you're blocking straights and then flushes. Because here you're not blocking straights or flushes, which is kind of a problem when that's what he's representing. Interesting. So, so what's an absolute hand? Absolute hand is like the strength of your hand, and then the re like all like, in. If you have like two pair, like your hand is worth two pair, but sometimes like in relative to what your opponent has, it could be really bad because they could just have like a straight or a flush. Or, okay. Or like quads. Got it. Doug, oh, you folded. Doug Paul puts put him in for forty six thousand on that river with two straights Damn. possible or three straights possible, and he takes down another pot up to two fifty on the left. But Danny Negreanu is coming back on the right hand side, pulling this one closer. Doug Polk only up about $180,000. I'd say he's about $190,000 for the day. Putting the foot on the gas. We got my little brother, Tutu Andrew Cool, in the house today. And, uh, and yeah, man, really enjoying him in the house. Really enjoying the questions for the, from, the, from the amateur player. Of course, we have the polar opposite and Landon Tice here. Mr. Johnny Depp, Mr. Blow, Mr. Uh, Mr. Caribbean, Mr. Nolan Holdem hat on himself, Mr. Timmy Glasses. And, yeah. We're, we're chilling right now. We're, we're, vi we're, we're vibing. vibing. We are vibing right now. This, this is a vibe, is a vibe sure. right this here. Is, you're definitely vibing with that hat. This is a vibe. We vibing or what? Want to lower, the, want to lower it down a little bit? Yeah. Let's get the octaves down down here. Daniel, nice bet on the river. 5,200 into 7,000. Backdoor straight gets there. 9, 10. Ace, 10. Takes it down. Little bro learning poker. Andrew in the house right now. Adam Lee says, Joey, if it's in the rules that you must top off the 40K, then this needs to be addressed ASAP. This will add up to a lot of missed money if Doug does it, but Daniel doesn't. Investigation. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah. Yanni, yanni, yanni. I don't get this money. Oh, oh. <laughs> so Daniel fighting back here a little bit. And guys, we've <laughs> seen Daniel lose a, a big pot with Ace King versus 4 6, right? We've seen him. Get get hero called by the ace high. So this this match could be anyone's match today. I think that Doug's running quite nicely in these big pots. We've showed, seen him show up with backdoor hands in really large pots. So he is running well today. Obviously, plays at a high level. Dana Granu. He's got some work to do, boys. He's got some work to do. I mean, you're going to sing the song hand. for me, yep, Joe. Big hand. Here we go. Okay, Andrew. Andrew's and you're fired up. Nope. Oh, he folded. Two third on there. You want to play some poker, don't you, now, bro? Up against you, maybe. <laughs> oh. Real money fucking. Bang, ball. bang. Oh, you want to play for fun? Okay. Bang, bang. Dude, yeah. Hell no. Okay. I want to be like dad if I can play for fun. Yeah, this is quite the threesome right here. Isn't it? Come again? This is quite the threesome. My little brother with the most unprofessional look going on right now with the hair and the beard. <laughs> he looks good. He's fine. Landon wearing the hat and the shades, looking like he is ready to... Get after it. Ready to get after it get as hard as he it. possibly get can. Get after then. it in the nightclubs that I don't Me go to. Me wearing a tank top and the one day I take off wearing my hoodie yep. for old times. Amen. God bless America. God bless America. I love it, guys. Happy to be here today. God bless America. Happy to be here today. Couple uh, single race pots. Check down to the river on the right hand side, left hand side. Doug makes the bet. Ace 10 3, two clubs. Gets called. River, Daniel leads. Gets called. He's got the straight. Straight is good. Straight's going to take it down. Nothing really to see there. Except Daniel winning the pot. Hmm? Nothing to see except Daniel winning the pot. That's true. That's all you got. That's true. Yanni, yanni, yanni. <laughs> Left hand side. Daniel bets small. Nice block bet. Takes it down. Is that a block bet, right? Any one third? Out of position? Yeah. 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 I didn't know if a hole needed to be something small. I don't know if it's like one quarter they consider block bets here. Any bet Third on the river is a block bet? No. That's what I'm saying, right? Third or yeah. less. Yeah. So, Doug, was that how much of a lead? Like, you said 150K? Um, it was like 100, right? What'd you say? He, you said he was up 150K. Now he's down to like 100K. He's probably up about... Um, 
About 100k, yeah. Yeah, yeah you said 150, point. and I was keeping track a bit. Yeah, yeah, it's probably about 100 right now. Yeah. Two two Andrew Cole chiming in. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's just like so much fucking money, dude. It's true. Like the the buy-in is like what, three three, Mister Hunter. I just know the right questions to ask. Oh, two hundred for small. Left hand side overbet by Doug. On the deuce, he bet the flop. Overbet's turn takes it down. Makes Daniel fold once again. What kind of hands is the overbet in there? Nine eight six, turn small card. Seven x, ten x. The jack ten. Mm -hmm. And then hands that block the straight and then sets and like strong two pairs. So ten times what? Just a hand that has a 10 a in it. Ten it's just a hand that has a 10 in it? Yeah, like a blocker. Yeah, yeah. A hand that blocks, ten, blocks the so nut straight. So 10x, X is the... X is any other, yeah. yeah. Some yeah. other okay. cards, yeah. He's getting it. Picking Switch Andrew Kuhl right there. Right hand side, three bet by Doug. Queen Jack, three, all spades. That's a cool hand. That's a cool flop right there. I like that. Left hand side, Doug leads a turn, gets called by Daniel. Right hand side. Three bet pot, check to Daniel. He's gonna stab 2,882. Big bet, big bet on the left on the board pairing card. What do you think the weakest hand Doug's gonna have here? Is he gonna have trip sixes? Weakest for value? Yeah, weakest for value to this side. Jack with a diamond. Jack with a diamond. And he does get raised by Dana Grano. Dana Grano is saying he's got a full house. Could have a flush as well, too. Yeah. What if he had a two and an ace of any suit? He would not do this. He does have a flush, oh, and shit. Doug Polk shows down Both pocket threes damn. for the full house. Doug just calls. Daniel has the king ten. He played his flush draw on the flop passive. Check back flop. Just calls the turn. Doug makes a full house on the river, gets raised, and takes it down. And Doug Polk getting back a little bit in the driver's seat, backing up that truck just a little bit. Pull it back in the station. After Dnex has been making a nice little comeback here on the right hand table. Yep. Very nice hand. Is it uh for the pocket threes there, do you ever decide to re-raise possibly or I think it's possible, but it's harder to get called by much worse value besides like nut flushes and second nut flushes. Mm -hmm. Because when the board's pair and you have like the bottom boat, he could just have better full houses and then you're kind of put in a weird spot if they go all in because you probably just don't have the best hand anymore after they like after they four bet the river mm -hmm. so uh yeah like it's just call i think it mixes between like jamming and just kind of going for all the money versus not flushes but i'm ass i'm assuming a call with a boat is really good too and the raise with the king ten is obviously normal yeah, normal raise right you, you have to raise it. there even even facing a pot size bet you gotta do it and you're hoping to get called by the hands we talked about. The jack maybe with the diamond. Jack with the diamond. Trip sixes, trip sixes. All that stuff, yeah. Possibly worse flush as well, too. Right. So it, it does seem like a mandatory raise in the right. So if, like if Doug's bluffs oh. for like the all-in sizing yeah. would be like a six with a diamond mm -hmm. because he blocks some flushes and blocks full houses with the trip sixes. Mm -hmm. And then his value is very evidently going to be just stronger full houses and like quads for, for value. Yeah, nice hand there by Doug Polk. I mean, you know, you got to run well, too. Your opponent makes the flush in the turn. You have bottom set. Could have been a much bigger pot when you think about it as well. It's true. So um, what's the side bet that Doug Polk made? The side bet Doug Polk. Doug Polk basically bet on himself on more action. So he, he, uh, yeah, him and Daniel were playing. But then also there was, like, people taking side action on 4-1, to one, meaning that Doug would put up $400 to win $100. So he bet uh, probably over... A million dollars, I'm saying. Uh, who knows how much the exact total is, right? We don't know. The truck might be backed up. A lot of money to bet, basically. Yeah. So, yeah, he's got a big side bet against different people. Makes sense? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> that not normal, too? You guys don't make side bets? Not not at that value. No? You and your you and the bros in Discord aren't, aren't making aren't making million-dollar bets on, on a, an Among Us game? We're all fucking poor. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sums it up. <laughs> Back to the action. Left hand side. Two thirds bet from Dean Eggs on the river. M Green Ingram. This commentary is way worse than anything I've seen so far. I don't know how the other commentary is, but I, uh, I'm sure they're trying their best and they're working hard. So 
We're joined here by uh, quite the threesome today. My little brother's in town. He leaves tomorrow, so he's joining us in the booth. We always love to see him in town, even for a marquee event like like the Gal like this uh, like this challenge here, the Doug Polk versus Daniel Negreanu heads up challenge. So Doug raises the river on the left hand side. The flush gets there as well. Yeah, he just keeps going. Yeah, he never the stops. The show goes on. The guy never. The guy. The show the, goes on. The guy really never stops. He just constantly fucking raising you all the he time. He just puts. Oh, yeah. wait a second. Oh, there he comes. Hey, 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 hey. Doug Polk coming in, smashing and smashing and grabbing. Oh, falling. Oh, <laughs> and grabbing. <laughs> nice spot there for Doug Polk as he smashes up that river with a raise. <laughs> This is this is my look when I had like have to like look down at like a pot, you know. I got like the regular look, and then like Doug's really Doug's screen name is Micro Stakes because he did a prop bet where he <laughs> did a bankroll challenge where he tried to build his bankroll up from Micro Stakes. From Micro Stakes, so he made his screen name Micro Stakes. Obviously, not knowing he'd then play a heads up challenge for millions of dollars against Dale Negrano, so he probably would have made it differently. Right hand side three bet, quick fold from Doug. I think you would have named it Poker Hands. I think he would have named it Doug Polk. Disagree. Disagree. I mean, it would have made sense. Let's to agree. Make a scream, Doug Polk. Let's agree to disagree. I, All right. I think it'd be poker faced. That's the ingenuity four, that we four need. Bet, four bet. Yeah. That okay. is the ingenuity. That's that Gen Z. That's that Gen Z. That's the ingenuity we, we need on this chat right that's now. That Gen Z baby. Nice one, buddy. I like that. <laughs> poker face. <laughs> Pop, 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 four bet face. from Daniel on the left hand side. Smoke's getting cleared up here. We got a four bet alert. I would like to see an all in pre. I would, I would like love to see an all in pre. Another call from Doug Polk. 10 9 5. 20,000 in the middle here. Let's see what happens. We've seen Doug Polk very capable of calling four bets out of position with, with hands you might not think about doing that with. Greg Harps says, what's the best hotel with the kitchenette to stay in Vegas for a month? The best hotel with the kitchenette is Vidara, Greg. Vidara. That is the place for you, my friend. Make sure you get one with the full kitchen. Left-hand side, checks back the flop from Dnex. Are you surprised we don't see that quarter bet? Um, not really surprised, but sometimes you just have hands that you just kind of want to either A, slow play, or B, just have no equity. And like ace highs, you're not going to really want to bet too much because you have some inherent showdown value. But it's a little bit weird when flop check checks and then turn also check checks. But we'll see. We will see. Maybe Daniel getting a little tricky here. Doug, Doug. going for that block bet. Mm -hmm. Backdoor flush does get there. Let's see here what happens, Landon. Daniel four bet. Remember that right-hand side. Big raise from Negreanu. He calls the left. Doug, pocket great seven. value bet with the pocket seven. Great value side. bet. Wow. Yeah. What about the right-hand side here? Right-hand side. Dan Sorry, Doug. What's he going to do? Yeah. What, what, what Daniel's saying, he's got a flush here. We've seen Daniel very capable of showing up with flushes here. He also could be without... capable of speeding. He definitely is capable of speeding as well, too. <laughs> he but was not he speeding. does have the goods. He had two blues, yeah. yeah. Three ten of diamonds for Daniel Negrano. $37,000 pot goes his way. And D-Dex is, is making his way back on that right-hand side. Up to $147,000 for Mr. Kid Poker. You need to understand that everything you do at the poker table conveys information. You can't be like all loosey-goosey having a sandwich in on your phone. Woohoo, baby, I love it. Good dance. Nice hand there. Did you know everything you do at the poker table conveys information? Anything you say, do with your body or any decisions that you make convey information. Wait, that's that's the same Daniel, isn't it? That's the same guy, yeah. That's, that's fucking funny. That's the exact same guy right there, yeah. That is the exact same guy. He looks nice in that suit. Yeah, he looks good in that suit for sure. Mm -hmm. Left-hand side, <laughs> check raise by d on the flop. Turns the four. Six, eight gets there. What kind of hands here for Daniel? Check raising. Yeah, six, eight, eight, nine. King, ten, five. Ten, nine. King, five. King, five. King, five diamonds. Low frequency, but sure. Double jack. <laughs> Checks back by Doug. It's king, five, Joey. You might be a no-limit hold'em god. Yeah. I mean, yeah, why not? Let's find out. I'm hoping for a king five. I'm hoping for a king five, too. Oh, king man, five. That'd be fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel checks. King five. 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 Please be the king. Okay. Five. Please. Okay. We're going to see Please. a king five. King five. Ah! So close. Oh, come on. How? I think, I think Daniel should be betting. The ah! Yeah. <laughs> 
Fuck me, man. God, am I, I think Dan- I think. Da- I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know what's happening here. Well, Daniel probably should be betting the turn with picking up extra additional equity for sure. Yeah, but you know, listen, when you check raise the king six, you know. So it close. Is, it is. So fucking close. Oh, my God. Uh, mm, wow. King you sure you want to play me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, I mean, he was one number off. That's that, a chance. That's true. Ma- I mean, listen, bro. If I can just do that every hand against Landon, I'll be able to beat him in our match. No, you won't. You have to assume it's a number above Excuse or me? below. <laughs> Excuse he me. Said, he he you said gotta, no. He bro, said listen, no. you got to understand. I got a good coach that hold him. It's me. You know yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> it's you. That's it. <laughs> yeah, no, we can call some other. We got some good coaches that hold him. Maybe I'll get Doug to coach me. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, it's, it's two blues. Two blues. <laughs> what had the gorilla like that hand? The gorilla like that. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh. Okay. 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 You, you throw the peace. You throw the peace sign. You throw. You throw the peace sign out. <laughs> we're weaving. We're weaving. Shout out to Gorilla Gaming. That's calm down. Go. Calm down, bro. We're supposed to get one. Calm down. Uh, gorilla Gaming, cool. You're a sick human, yeah. You're a sick human. <laughs> I think he's. What kind of sick? What kind of? kind of human calls someone Jamie Cold. What is that? How does that line go from that What line? kind of sick world do we live in when someone pretends to be Jamie Gold <laughs> online? What's your online name? I'm Jamie Gold right here. <laughs> I'm Jamie Gold. I'm here in real life. <laughs> yeah. And I ain't going away. I'm your worst nightmare, buddy. <laughs> That's what you get for calling with Jax. <laughs> That's what you get for calling with Jax. That's what you get for having me draw to 8%. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. Justin Schwartz ahead of his time or not? I don't know. We're all going to find out. The the stealth monk? The stealth monk. Was he ahead of his time? Probably. Might have been. I don't, he didn't do handshakes. He knew about the virus. Don't do iCloud. Don't do email as well either. <laughs> <laughs> Left hand side, Doug Polk. Nice value bet in the river with the King Deuce. Nice hand. <laughs> <laughs> I love the live streams. They're so fun. They're good. Oh my gosh, dude. These are hilarious. I got to go back and reread through those old Postle streams. The, the chat? There. The chat is <laughs> so <insane>. good. <laughs> He's like vibrates. Vato. <laughs> <laughs> we broke Joey, guys. <laughs> He's broken. You remember this? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a device? I don't know. I mean, come on. I mean, there might be. <laughs> How would I know he doesn't have a device? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not I'm it's not. philosophy. You, it's you don't know what you don't know. It's like shorting his cat almost. The I, cat is alive and dead. Like he could or could not have it at the same time. That's true. That's true. But if you find out, the cat might be dead. Pick the action back up here. A couple yeah. pots going on. Thirty-four hundred dollars on the left. Thirty-four hundred on the right. Jerry Yang, underrated or overrated? As World Series Poker Main Event Champion. The man who uh, said, please, the, the please God guy, Cliff. Please, Lord. May you have this in it for me. Anyone, that in guy? In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, please let Lee win. Make him a believer. Make right me hand a, side, nice Make me a believer, Jesus. Anyone. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, no weapon. I mean, listen, I, I believe imagine. that too. I believe it. I pray all the time when I'm, I'm, I'm all in. Doug, another pot in the left-hand side. I, do, I pray all the time when I'm all in. I try to I try to control it with my mind to turn in river. Mm-hmm. I'm like, please no flush, please no flush, please don't flee. That's what I do. I'm and praying. The, I'm praying just the like they're praying. And then the flush hits, and then <laughs> that's yeah. it. It's all over. And then I realize, hey, maybe that didn't work. Then you, then you break your desk. Yeah. Well, not yet. Not yet. Depends on what I'm playing for. Have you ever heard, Have you ever heard me yell at my computer when I'm playing? Oh fuck yeah. Okay, let's let's end it at that. Right hand side. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right hand side three. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. right hand side three. Bad pot here from by Daniel. Right hand side queen eight queen eight five <laughs> two, two clubs. <laughs> Daniel, we're just, we're, we're, eight, eight, eight thousand. We just spin in some stuff right now. What kind of sick world do we live in where people pretend to be Jamie Gold online? I'm Jamie Gold right here. I ain't going away. <laughs> Dude, Jamie Gold would fucking destroy you. I would like to play Jamie Gold. Okay. <laughs> we can make that happen. We can make I can that make that happen. You know, Poker Mountain. Jamie Gold. He's in. Right hand side. Raise. By Doug Polk. Three bet by D-Nex. Queen 5-8. Two clubs. What kind of hands is uh, is, Dan- is Doug going to be raising here with? Combo draws. Gut shots. And then sets and two pairs. You think he's raising with a pure 9-10 here though? Wouldn't he just call with that hand? 
Uh, nine tail of the back door might want to do some raising to get some ace high folds and um, have some raises because you want to raise like bottom set in that spot. So you so want you, some you, you'd raise some like nine ten. What like nine ten with spades? Nine ten spades. Okay. Some like, stuff like that. Jack ten. Mm. You know how it is. What's a gut shot? It's so when. It's a great question. That's a great question. What was the question? What's a gut shot? It's when you have like an inside straight draw when you have jack ten, and the board is ace king and then you need a queen that's okay a, that's a gut shot it's basically when you when you almost have a straight you just need one card that uh it's kind of in the middle right the middle card's missing there it's called a gut shot mm. bum, 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 bum. five thousand hands total five thousand hands total coming into that day yes bro you can yes bro five thousand sixty five thousand sixty seven hands at, at the pace we're playing now they're supposed to play about 12.5 k hands total and um, and then the loser has the option to stop. So if Doug is losing, he will keep playing. If Daniel's losing, he might quit. Right hand side, another pot. That, that's the, that's your, that's Doug's option. He he'll just keep playing if he is losing. Definitely. Is that Doug, what you said? Yeah, yeah. Doug's not gonna quit playing. Okay, that <laughs> makes sense. The show goes on. Would you want to play Wilco Suf on Poker Mountain, or do you think he's? Pa I think I think his time's come and gone in Poker World. It's a great question. Yeah. What to think about that one? Okay. You can do it. Who would you like to most play on Poker Mountain? You. Oh, oh <laughs> my God, dude, listen. I'm going to, I'm, man, that's I'm a, telling you right a, now, that's buddy. A, that's the finale right what there. What if I beat you? So? This is going to be like bragging rights for the, forever. Now the, for the next, like, 50 years, I'm never going to, I'm never going to stop telling you how I beat you. When you're supposed <laughs> to be the Hold'em God. And I play Pop Manoma. I play the great game. It sounds like I should let you in on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Thank rigged. You. Someone's yeah. going to say it's rigged. Rigged for action. That, that's yeah, rigged for action, say. yeah. Yeah. You think Poker Mountain? Not setting back on Poker Mountain? What are you talking about up there? You just get Ace versus King, 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 Ace flop, turn Brick River Ace. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, what can it's, you do? it's like a fiction, it's like a, it's like a movie. <laughs> Poker Mountain? No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's like James. It's a, yeah, it's like, it's, like, it's a casino. Yeah, it's like it's like it's casino like, royale. It's like casino royale, exactly. Yeah, it's a Poker Straight Mountain. Straight flush versus boat versus. We should, we should make a make a make one like that. Actually, that'd be nice. Yeah. Left hand side check raised by Doug on Jack Seven Four. He's at two hundred and ninety six thousand dollars in that stack. They're setting, they're setting the Poker Mountain deck. Yes. <laughs> For me to beat you on Poker Mountain. For me to destroy you. Actually, it's me that comes in and wins it all. That's how it yeah. works. I mean, even with the set deck, the you're, you're going to need some the work. Underdog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> even if you knew the cards, you might still need some work. <laughs> I'd, show you, I'd, show you, I'd show you my hand. You have a problem. Yeah. Oh, what you got? Go fish. I would love to see my own bro play with... Where you can see the car, see what everyone else has, and see if he can act, see if he can win. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if he could. <laughs> you, you give me your teacher right here. I'll do it. I can do it. Okay. Yeah. Right hand side, three bet pot for Dean Eggs. Ace on the turn. Gonna be a good card for Daniel. Four five makes the straight. Let's see what size he goes with. You like small size here, is Daniel? Small size is fine. Chucking is also good. Yeah. Either one. Some big betting too. If you do best, because he just has some ace king in range as well. Mm hmm. Some four or five suited. Some dancing hands, if you will. Some dancing hands, a little bit of something, maybe like a some spice. A little queen five suited. Why not? Wow, big bet there from Doug. Hefty, hefty bet. What kind of hands is he doing that with? It's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, some sets maybe, some two pairs, with the ace like ace deuce. Some straights that he has like four or five. Mm-hmm. And, and bluffs, bluffs as well too. Like, yeah. uh, what's a good bluff candidate to have? Probably hands that oh, block. Bet. Probably like a queen in your hand, like queen jack. Okay. Because like you block like ace queen for Daniel, mm -hmm. ace jacks for his best hands. Now is, here we go. Four is bet. king the most like known blocker? Is it like the most normal blocker? Because you said king queen as king is the blocker a lot. Well, in this spot, when you see bets, yeah, ace king is like normally like one of like the one of the highest combos they have of just like. Best hands. Okay. But with the king on the board already, you want to block like the next best re relevant thing because you wouldn't want to bluff that size with the king. Cool. Because Here. that's a pair. You don't want to bluff yeah, the pair yeah. in that spot. Here we go. Left hand side, four bet alert, pre flop by Doug Polk. He bets a quarter. Daniel calls the ace on the turn. Good for Dan. Good and prove. Doug four bet. Doug four bet pre flop it's here, good. Landon. Good for our man, Douglas K. Polk. Doug but Polk then is Daniel ace queen, ace king, ace jacks, turning to good hands. He also has a bluff candidate now, right, Landon? He's got some bluffs here. He can go small in the turn. Go for a little small bet, like 25%, 20%.
Can Doug Polk back that truck up here on Dan Negrano? He does check back. Maybe he's got a hand like Jacks, Queens, Kings. And then some draws that he wants to check back on the turn to realize for cheap. Because if you get jammed on, that's not a very uh, very pleasant thing to have happen to you. If you have a King, Queen of Diamonds kind of hand. Well, here we go. The backdoor flush does indeed get there. We'll see. Let's see what happens. What is Daniel going to do? He's in the tank right now. The truck keeps coming. <laughs> Pay attention, guys. We got a big pot, 29,000 pot size bet left. Will Daniel Grano lead here for all in? He does bet, but he doesn't lead all in. He gets snap called by pocket queens, and Daniel has the king 10. Does not work. Very interesting size there. Yeah. From Daniel Negreanu, yeah. and he loses a $55,000 pot to Mr. Doug Polk with the pocket queen. So like we said, checks back the ace, calls the river bet. Daniel with that sizing, Landon. A little bit um, interesting. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not sure. Stuck to pot one. Most of the time you're going to want to jam or you choose like a smaller block size, but that was a little, that was a little bit weird, I think. So flop is flop normal. He calls with the backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight, backdoor yeah. straight yeah. draw, backdoor flush draw, That's two okay. overs. Yeah. King 10 of hearts, check, check, river. He bets 12.8K and a 29.9K. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> Quite interesting for sure. So Daniel, three bets left hand side once again. Jack six seven is two this, spades. That's all blue. Is this the is this the biggest stack we've seen? This is the K? biggest stack we've seen. A three hundred twenty one thousand dollars stack for the supreme leader Douglas K Polk as he looks to put his foot down on the gas pedal even further in this hand. Calls the flop bet. Pots Bruin fourteen thousand in the middle. King on the turn. Good card for Dan Agranu. Mm. We're over the three hour mark. They, they're they're playing today. I want to play the game where Joey just keeps guessing combos until he gets it right. <laughs> Daniel bets 5,600. I'm putting him on ace, 10 of spades. And Doug Polk, I think he's going to stack him again. Let's see what Doug does here. 5,600. He does call once again. River is an ace. Oh, my God. I think Jack King. Oh, my God. I think Jack King. Pot, 25,000. A little bit of a pot size bet left for Daniel. Will he shove all in? They were energy ball is requested. The energy is in. Oh, he shit. shoves. Uh -oh. And just like that, uh. Doug Polk snap folds. $53,000 pot goes Dana Grano's way as he is only down on that table about three, two hundred sixty seventy thousand dollars <laughs> on the left-hand side. You ever been down 270 on one table? Not yet. Not yet, but you will be. But I will be. I know. But you're going to be up that too, though. It's true. God bless America. What did you say your goal was? You wanted to get to a million dollars in your World Series poker account? That's a pretty sick goal. I know. That'd be awesome if you got to a million dollars. One mega. One mm. One mega. One enchilada. No, it's like 325. <laughs> 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 Shout out to Landon. Working hard. You start streaming there day too. You're streaming on Twitch. right? You know what happened? I, um, I took Landon back to his house and I met with his family and I'm hanging out with them. And Landon disappeared into the side room to stream. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Left me to hang out with the fam. What are these vibes going on, Andy? These are some sick vibes right here. Yeah, bro. This is, this is a sick match today. Another top pair for Doug Wolf. The guy's got top pair a lot here, man. Another $9,000 pot goes his way, and he's, he's clawing back just a little bit. The P dog said. The P dog says this just proves that Dean Eggs built his reputation on exploited players and live raids. He can't beat someone who actually understands the game. Yeah, I don't think so. That that's. I don't think this proves anything like that, to be honest with you. And especially Daniel's playing a format he hasn't played much before, if ever at all. So yeah, I don't necessarily think. I don't think that. I don't think so. No, I I disagree with that. What do you think about that? Daniel's a tournament guy. You know, most of his stuff has been like some ring cash games and mm -hmm. tournaments and. He's not really a heads-up specialist like Doug, but got to give respect to Daniel for getting out here and battling in these streets, having yeah. a good show for everyone. That's true, man. That's definitely true. We are seeing another pot here. Bruin on the right, 12.5K. Let's see what goes on here. Checks back on the turn by Daniel. Another three bat from Doug. Takes it down. We are hitting that three-hour mark here, guys. Three-hour match so far on this beautiful Saturday. 
What are you guys out there doing today on Saturday night? What's your guys' plans? Staying at home, watching poker, watching Netflix. Big bet from Daniel on the right, 9,300. What is Doug going to do? Left-hand side, three bet. Doug does call, eight, four, three board, two hearts. Let's see what Doug does here. Maybe he's shaping up for, for one of his patented big raises. The supreme leader. Got to imagine the day is getting down to an end here. Maybe he wants to try to extend that lead even further. He does fold on the right, left-hand side. He calls a continuation bet, 20.9K in the middle. King for Daniel. What do you think he's going to go here? What size, Landon? He can go for like one-third or maybe two-thirds and then jam over. Some checks as well. He does check. We see him check quite often, I feel like, in these three bet pots on turns. Let's see what Doug does. He does bet. What kind of hands is he going to bet here with, with this one third? Plus draws, hands with gut shots, king x, some 8x as well to get value from some ace highs that don't believe. Some 8x too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he does get called. We got a pot size bet left. 34,000 in the middle. Here we go. Four on the river, flush misses, Daniel. Yeah. Energy ball. Energy ball is brewing up here as we are seeing a pot grow, $34,000. So Daniel, definitely gonna have kings here. Gonna have some pairs between the king and the eight, nines, tens, jacks, queens. I like that part right here. I have an eight as well too, the energy's forming around the hand. What will Doug Polk do? He does shove all in. Fuck. He gets snap called and Doug Shut. Polk shows up with pocket threes and he stacks him and he has a $366,000 stack for the Supreme Leader Douglas K. Polk. And right now, guys, that's right. The Supreme Leader is on absolute, complete, animalistic fire Animal. on that table. Everyone is out as Dane Negreanu is, uh, is getting beat down on the left-hand side. And a four bet alert going on just like that. We'll take a replay of that hand in one second. But Daniel had king seven. I mean, I, I, no, yeah, got a I, I, yeah, we got a four bet got alert here. Stocks. Doug jam, please. Will Doug Polk jam in here? He yeah. does go all in. Oh, fuck. Doug calls eights versus queens. 10, five, seven, oh. nine. Yahtzee! Oh! Yahtzee! Oh, the eight on the river for Doug Polk. And he gets the four hundred thousand dollar stack and my friends we just pointed out he's on fire but the supreme leader is Not on absolute fire, fire. four hundred thousand dollars on the left it kind, of, it kind of felt like the queen. Get there. Yeah, i mean yeah. daniel taps out instantly wow holy moly daniel granu is a beaten down man on that left hand side gets it in good queens versus eights Fuck me, man. Wow. I mean, oh, you got to feel it for Daniel Grano. Wow. 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 Fuck me. That is when your day is not going well, man. Ooh. Damn, you got that one. And that's going to be the match for today, boys. Probably. $400,000 in the stack of Doug Polk. A pocket queen versus pocket ace. That, that was kind of He sick. didn't sit out yet. No, no. Wow. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back. Hey! Yanni, yanni, <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, he's sitting out. Now. Wait, Doug's going to sit out. Wait a second. We are having a break here, it. guys. Yanni, Yanni, Yanni. Yanni. Let's, Let's go. Dance that, that, time. Guys, that is the end of the match, my friends. And you guys know we get a celebratory dance party. Doug Polk, the Supreme Leader, smashes it up there. If you guys enjoyed the stream today, make sure you smash that like button. The next stream is going to be on Monday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to see them back. Let us know what you think about the match in the comments below. Let us know on Twitter, on Instagram as well, too. And uh, let's go. Guys, let's go out in style. As we do. Do it with us at home. You better dance with us. Andrew, you getting in here? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Appreciate you very much. Oh, yeah. Dancing, me and my brother Andrew, two two Andrew Cool. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate a lot. We gotta end it on the cat jam? Cat jam, yeah, for sure. Alright, guys. Gotta, Only gotta... hardcores are watching only, it's fine. Sure. <laughs> only hardcores are watching. No one no one non hardcore. Look at this hand. Oh my god. Wow. No, I'm kidding, I'm just I'm just literally joking. Uh okay. <laughs> okay guys, we're gonna do one cat jam here. And uh, we're gonna wrap it up on that. Make sure you guys do it with me. Say it with me. I should have had this prepared. Yeah. I, I forgot the cat jam. Sorry, guys. Okay, ready? It's play the music. Music with the cat jam. Music with the cat jam. We're going out on top today. Join them on YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Much love. Peace out. Take care, everybody. We love y'all. See you next Monday. Later. Sign off.